<laughs> can you open that door? Uh, it's been open. No, I mean, can you open it all the way or does it knock over stuff? Uh, I'll hit my toy shelf. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It actually hits that chair, which then hits the toy shelf, and then they all fall down. It's a really good system I've got. No one's allowed in here unless you're careful and nimble. That's the yeah. main rules. Nimbleness. God, I would not be allowed in there. <sighs> yeah, no. Yeah. I honestly am pretty sure. I told my roommate the other day, I'm like, one day you're just going to come home. One of the days when they send me a package of Voodoo Ranger, I'm gonna be dead on something. Like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit my, I've hit my head before on this, and been like, whoa, and then hit the fucking disco ball, and I have a lot of knives and stuff just laying around, swords. I'm gonna be impaled. It's gonna the be so embarrassing. Rocket gumball machine through yeah. your chest, <laughs> through my neck, out my mouth. Your leg like backwards on yeah. it. It's going up through your back, and then it takes off into the sky <laughs> and blows up. Okay, so we're gathered here for the uh, first annual bag holders meeting. Uh, let's see, who do we have in attendance? Sam? Devin? Devin, are you here? Devin's not here, but... Devin's not here. Well, I guess we'll proceed. Yeah. <laughs> Even without him. Okay, he's kind of getting phased out because he hasn't really shown any proof recently of wearing his bag. No, he just has it, and he thinks that makes him a part of the yeah. group. I think what I he's guess... trying to do is, this is very on brand for someone of his socioeconomic status is that he joins a fraternal organization like this trying to just reap benefits yeah. you know the connections that are garnered through a fraternal a organization raid? yeah can i get a host when in reality he doesn't <laughs> care about the bag itself i guess you like, know I, I i i named it wrong it should not be the bag holders meeting it's a bag wearers yeah. meeting because anyone can hold or, you know, and then be we'll be confused of. with like crypto bros or something because yeah. there's a lot of bag holders. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah. It's when you buy really high and then the price dips down oh. and you're left holding them bags. That's and, wow. That's what I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So, well, I'm well two this types is a of bag holders. Yeah. This is a multifaceted bag holder group. You can only okay. be a part of this if you've made incredible losses in the crypto market and also own Topo yep. Designs. Yep. Bag. Thanks, for, thanks for that investing advice, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> normally, the bag holder is the cool guy in the white fur coat with a bag of cocaine at a party. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. another thing. I'm not part of that guy. So completely separate bag holders. <laughs> <sighs> Snorted yeah. off this ring. <sighs> do you want to so cool. do a uh, a plug Proper. for the event? Oh, the patron. Event? Yeah. Yeah, because basically I did a short one and it sucked. Okay. Yeah. We. Yeah. We uh, what do we we essentially jimmied an episode last night. Yes, uh, we did. <laughs> yeah, we tried, we tried, and uh, we got about forty minutes in. And we're like, nah, this, this fucking sucks. So now we're gonna recap. Uh, if there's ever a point where Poove just like, uh, it, you made a valiant effort. By the way, you were you were trying. My brain was completely frizzled. I was gone. Yeah, I needed and, you uh, to carry. Yeah, I was, and you, I was you were like. Uh, you looked at me for a second. You're like, oh, God, this isn't going good. And in my mind, I was like, that's a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we're done. If you ask that one time, it's over. After we yeah. talked about once again how big animals can be, I started to lose hope. <laughs> when I when I circled back to, okay, well, there's a, some animals who are actually smaller than you yeah. think. <laughs> uh, teacup Chihuahua, for example. There was, uh, there was yeah. also some other dumb shit that we talked about. It was like anim some animals are big. There was a... Uh, Sometimes it can get smaller, like a sheep. It looks bigger at first, and then you shear it, and it gets smaller. And then there and then, was a slight riff about the nobility of being a domesticated animal, yeah. which wasn't a strong one. That wasn't an no. opening act type bit. Um, we started to on sweater talk. <laughs> yeah, hoodie, hoodie comparisons. They're kind of like sweaters yeah. with a hood on them. And uh, yeah, so we're fresh day, <laughs> fresh day, fresh minds. And I wouldn't say fresh minds because now you've just reintroduced all the things that we talked about last night, yeah, I, and that's I was, at the forefront was, of my mind. In my mind palace a second ago, I was in a beautiful room, and now it's mm -hmm. becoming white like the Matrix <laughs> gun room again. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we've got a, a patron event coming up. We oh, yeah, back on little, track. November yeah, Spotify 16th. Spotify listeners, listen at, here. Yeah, the, that's the group that we're really trying to rope into this thing is the Spotify group. Um. On the 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be doing a patron call-in episode mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. patrons 
can join the Discord and you go into the patron lounge. We've set it up. It might just seem like a like a lobby or a waiting room, but we named it the patron lounge so that in your mind it might seem a little bit nicer. <laughs> Maybe we'll even throw Stalt in there for a little bit. You guys can uh, talk to him. Or, yeah. Uh, so we'll He'll be the in. warm-up crew. We'll yeah. throw Stalt in there. We now should he's, make like Swift and Fungal wait in there with him. You know? I think we should kind of get like an inside Previous. scoop to try to weed out the weird ones. Yeah. And then uh, uh, now everybody has a fair shot. <laughs> I'm yeah. not saying yeah, Everybody's got a fair yeah. shot, guys. Everybody's got a fair but shot. But if you're in there and you're kind of... Th- definitely ha- radiating some like Unabomber vibes, we might not drag you up. Yeah. If but you have uh, a funny name that will probably help. That'll we're help. We're probably a lot. just gonna look down and go, uh, this guy. Yeah, there's up. probably not gonna be. I actually in do there. have a little raffle thing. I don't have any of the balls though, and I would definitely not go through the work of writing <laughs> everybody's name yeah, on a patron's name. So scratch yeah. that. Um, Hold on, actually, let me go through the. Let me go find the Discord thing, and I yeah. the event has. 177 people that want to attend so unless you plan on writing 177 names on pieces of paper and then yeah. no that's not gonna happen <laughs> yeah. yeah it's not that so big either. basically it's what like we're gonna thing. do is we're gonna be in a room and we're gonna be recording an episode and then we're gonna look down and see little funny names and we'll pull you up and you'll be able to say your piece whatever that I'm may actually be quite excited we've been trying to get yeah. this going for a while so and then yeah. it took uh Basically, somebody showing me that events can happen on Discord. Yeah. Because he was yeah. trying to get people to watch a movie with him. And I was like, oh, my God, that's perfect. Yeah, perfect I've been trying this. to get this going for like five years, guys. So it's really <laughs> Sam's fault it took this long. Yeah. But if it goes really poorly, we'll never do it again. If it goes well, maybe, you know, I don't know if we want to bring up the future idea we had with a certain. Somebody. <clears throat> yeah. Well, but, we don't you know, we don't know if more, you'll be on board. Yeah. More themed patron call-ins and stuff could be cool also we don't really know if it's gonna be public or patreon exclusive we're just gonna see <laughs> kind of how funny you are and then kind of judge it from there maybe you don't need to know that maybe we cut that out i don't know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh you guys are great though you guys are yeah. great stall um, you can definitely cut that out but uh yeah the, their performance definitely dictates whether or not this will be a public episode yeah, because if definitely. it's like some weird Asperger circle jerk, it's definitely just going to be contained within yeah. the Patreon because we don't want the public knowing what these people are like. We don't want the like. Spotify listeners listening to a bad episode. They're so kind to us. Yeah, yeah. Those are the friends that you want to be seen in public with. Yeah. And then the patrons like your Discord friends. Yeah. And then the patron <laughs> Discord users are like the guy you had to stop talking to because yeah. they got too too extreme. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he started going down some pipelines, mm. uh, and uh, yep, sixteenth. That's literally in six days, <laughs> right? Wait, yeah, true. Yeah, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. I just posted a week out. We okay. had it initially set for the twenty third, and then Abby informed me that's Thanksgiving. And I said, "Well, we can't do it then." Fuck. We could do maybe a maybe we dress like pilgrims. What for? For of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, absolutely. Amazon today. I mean, I can get a pilgrim costume here in a heartbeat. Absolutely, yeah. Bag wearer and down. We'll, yeah, we'll. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I got a gut, so this thing's yeah. cutting into me sitting down. Yeah. Unless I'm going to be standing up. I feel like it's a bag like me. this is for men of action, not for men of sitting. If I took it off, my my body couldn't support the weight of my head. I just <laughs> crumble down. It's like one of those scoliosis yeah. fucking corsets. I've actually added enhancements that goes under <laughs> like a diaper and then around the back and straps in. It's like a chastity belt with a hole in it in case I get horny. Suspenders too. Yeah. Yeah. It's just under a full shirt, body suspenders. encasement. <laughs> that would actually be sweet to rig it off where it's like you can't take it off. Yeah. This bag is a definite part of me. Um I don't. That's basically all about that, right? I mean, do we <laughs> yeah, have anything yeah, else that's to all, say? That's all we got be, on that. Be, bring your A game. It doesn't yeah. have to be. You don't have to tell like a funny. St- just you know, you could ask a question. You could tell a story. We just want to hear from you. You know, you hear from us so much. Mm-hmm. You know? Brian will be there, so you can ask him any and all questions. He's, He's gonna go what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the? <laughs> Actually, I implore you guys. If you guys can get any information out of this guy. That's what yeah. I. That's what I want to say. I want to see at least a couple personal questions information. Like, yeah, really do some Name digging. Of his mother, because he won't open up to his friends that he's known for a decade now. He'll probably open up to a stranger. 
Yeah. If it's the right stranger. We should get him drunk, because when he's drunk, he seems to be a little more loose on the lips. And, uh, you know, let's a little more slide. Honestly, I'll probably be drunk, too, though. So it's 9 o'clock on a Thursday. I mean, that's... (laughs) That's a prime drink at night. It's almost over, yeah. (laughs) Right, guys? Um... The work week, yeah, like, yeah, like we're working factory jobs. Yeah, I'm yeah. maintaining to my blue collar appeal. Uh, I'm a, uh, I'm so disconnected from the world. Do you work on point. the weekends or anything? Do you, like, do you have in your life, your day to day life? Is there a difference between a Saturday and like a Thursday? To be completely honest, I sometimes. I mean, I like to think. I, you know, I'm like, oh, the weekend that'd be a good time to stream because maybe more of my viewers, you know, a lot yeah, of people yeah. work on the weekends, but. Some of them, maybe they're free. Uh, no, I mainly just know when I walk down the stairs, is my roommate working? Okay, it's the day of the week. Uh, is he not? Okay, it's probably the freaking weekend. Let's go crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, days, months, they kind of just fade by at this point. Mm. So. My life is dictated by the public school system. So yeah. right oh, now, yeah. so you're gonna... school's closed. So I hear little footsteps running around. I really need some kids to start getting me back on track. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if your life is schedule. in shambles, if you really want to turn your life around, I fully, I, I endorse it. Yeah, get some kids, have That's some kids. Basically, what my mom says, she's like, "You're just, yeah. a, you're just a little depressed idiot. Have a child, and it'll change yeah. you, make you a better person." I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Are you, are you incapable of taking care of yourself? Have some more people to take care of. and then That's it'll, it'll, why I own Pip. That's how Pip came along is because my mom was like, oh, you, you want to kill yourself? Why don't you <laughs> kill yourself and kill a dog? Here you go. And it actually made things much worse for a long time, <laughs> having the pressure of a, you the know, when you're, when you're already like, uh, and then you see a dog shit on your carpet that you have a <laughs> security deposit for, you go, ah! and then now that he's, like trained and learned you know after a year or two they calm down now he's my best friend so i can't let my mom have that win because during those times i'm like you got to take him back man i'm gonna fucking kill myself <laughs> she's like oh no 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 like all about another dog you know if i had it her way two kids two dogs right now so listen to your mothers guys if you're depressed get a dog <laughs> get something hard to take care of like a husky yeah and uh maybe adopt a kid I don't know. I wouldn't adopt. I would just go ahead and just make your own. I'm going to go ahead and shit on one of my best friends right now really quick. And I don't even think they have ever watched the podcast. I don't think any of my friends watch anything I'm a part of. So real supportive guys. My friend just got a dog like a month ago. And first dog, quite ambitious. He got a a, a, a military trained German shepherd or something. Whereas... These people have like a military farm in Indiana and they're just breeding like fucking survival dogs or something. First dog this guy gets. And after about a week, he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. I guess this is uh, actually an insane thing to do. Returns the dog. Didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, that's. But also like so sad. He like named this. He sent us all like a hundred Snapchats. Like, look at my baby. Then about two, three weeks ago, new Snapchat from my friend and it's like a golden retriever puppy i'm like uh, okay is that yours or your roommates you know, mine i got a new dog I'm like, okay more manageable golden retriever yeah. you know and once once you get past that puppy stage like one of the best dogs you know just like incredibly you know good family dog i mean he doesn't have a family he's a fucking nerd but i get a you know i get a message from another friend like last week he's like yeah you know that new dog he's got that name dog that new one return that one too two dogs in the span of like a month and a half that he's been like i'm ready and then gotten it and then taking it back and what's what's wrong with the golden retriever uh i well we heard him does he expect a dog not to i think he expects a because okay here's the deal his roommate's dog is like a freak of nature just from the time it was born, it was basically just, uh, yes, master, like, I'll do anything. Uh. And super well-trained, like, doesn't do anything. And then he got a puppy, which is, like, you know, fucking up in the air until you train it, like, what yeah. they're going to act like. And it was shitting all over the place and eating everything. And he said it broke out at one point, like, pooped all over the house. and uh. So then he returned it, <clears throat> which I didn't even, once again, I'm like, 
Yeah, I didn't know you could gonna, do that. They're going to put yeah. this guy on like a dog list. Like, don't let this guy get a fucking dog. He's just a, he's an Indian giver or something. And, uh, <laughs> Indian taker. <laughs> Indian taker, yeah. yeah. Give me that. No. <laughs> I don't really feel like it anymore. <laughs> anyway, I, I just, uh, yeah, I haven't confronted him about it, but I think we should be making fun of him for it more. And no one's <laughs> yeah. really been bringing it up. Yeah. So that was like Steve. Steve got a, a bunny rabbit and he was so stoked about it. And then we didn't hear anything about that bunny rabbit again yeah. forever and always. And what happened to that bunny rabbit? Hawk. Where, yeah, where'd that bunny go? I think that bunny's gone. I don't know. He, he probably killed it. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, he probably got it to kill it, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those pictures we saw of it was its last final moments yeah. before he, he strangled it or something. Say hello and goodbye. <laughs> yeah. He sat it on its chair for a Discord call and was like, look how funny it is. It's like he's in the chair and then he forgot and came back and like, plop down. Fucking Soprano Shot style, white yeah. Fur. yeah. He everywhere. just fucking laid up oh, on no. it for eight hours. <laughs> yeah, his wife's like, "You killed our bunny." <laughs> Steve's wife, <laughs> his hot wife. <laughs> yeah, just shit on all our friends. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, one day, my friends are gonna hear what I'd say about them. They're gonna kick my ass and they're gonna beat the shit out of me. Uh, you know what? I've realized that. Uh, yeah, my brother listens to the podcast, so I can't shit on him so much anymore. But, you know, Zach, if you're listening to this, you, you point out one time where I've said something wrong, okay? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> I'm I've doing... gone too far, but I've never been wrong, <laughs> no, okay? I've been doing fucking just a, a Webster's play-by-play of your yeah. life, okay? You just have a funny life. I'm sorry. Reading you've... your Facebook wall right now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. so, you've gotten up to some hijinks, okay? And Airstream I think it's... in Florida, no AC. Ooh, oh, that sounds like a death sentence. <laughs> Still can't believe that one because I'm like, you are just in an oven. Right? You are just in a fucking. <laughs> no, he would tell me he would be like, I don't go home during the day. <laughs> like it's it's strictly like an at night premises. <laughs> I'm more of a vagrant during the day, uh, hopping on trains and whatnot. I'm just gonna go in with the flow. at night when the oven has yeah. cooled. <laughs> I crawl, crawl the bushes. I crawl into my airstream. He rolls out from underneath it and goes inside. I dust off all the, the soot off of my yeah. fucking mattress. No. You tr- all your furniture's turned to putty. <laughs> <laughs> Try to reform it into the shape of a bed. Uh, uh, Man. That's funny. Yeah. I uh, was going to say, dude, no, it can't happen again. No, I can't be losing track of mind. Uh, Something about a vagrant, or no, it's before those. I don't remember. I would kill to to pull that, uh, if I could go back in time, I would pull that Airstream and get it towed up to where your brother lives in that cabin. Yep. And I would park it in his side yard. <laughs> you two have fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting you up with a friend, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and just, uh, just kind of like make like a little video, just uh, like a... <laughs> Like a nature documentary, seeing them yeah. cohabitate. <laughs> Watching them through the woods. What are they doing over there? Within the, a week, the they're eating each other out. Yeah. <laughs> they got two thumbs in each other's assholes. <laughs> it's been two hours. What the hell happened there? Yeah. The Brothers Show. Yeah, that'd be a great spinoff to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. We just kind of. Two guys that are completely unrelated to the podcast. Yeah. We'll just make a show about them. <laughs> Related by blood. Are also, yeah, they don't even fucking know each other. <laughs> R- real no strangers, chemistry. the lovers motif, yeah. I know. Yeah, I, can, I'm, I can't shit talk my brother. Well, one, because I like my brother. <laughs> yeah, I like my brother too, man. He's always threatened, like, I could find your podcast if I wanted to. Just know that. He's like, I know someone that listens to you. I'm like, well, hey, man, we're cool. We're cool. Does, you, does your don't. brother have, like, a PC? No, it's funny though because he was like the original in our house. Like he had a shitty. He used to play like Warcraft and Diablo one and two, Age Empires one and two. Like he was always the PC gamer in the house. Yeah. And then we were, you know, original Xbox came around. We were just playing the fuck out of that. And I want to. I've already given my little sister a computer. I like my goal. One of my goals for I guess like what I'm going to do with your money, patrons is I'm going to pretend it's my money and I'm going to build each of my siblings like a computer, I think would be a nice like gesture. Uh, started with 
the best sibling, my little sister, and I'm working my way up. Um, Do they know their rank down. and file? No. No? No. no. Oh, I, got, I actually got my older brother the new Xbox, though, so he's pretty content. But you know what's fucked up? Dude. Do you know the rank and file with your how you stand with your parents? Like who your parents like the most? Oh, it's different. You know, I don't think I listen. I don't actually have rank and file with my siblings, but with my parents, I think I would just to assume. Let me tell you something. Parents yeah. do have rank and file for their just kids. Just to assume I'm my mom's least favorite because <laughs> we argue constantly, and I'm yeah. apparently just like her. Uh, just girls. So you just like being the daughter of her, you know, it just does it adds a lot of pressure. And then my dad, I'm pretty sure I'm his favorite because he just always calls me first. I'm his firstborn. I'm not my mom's firstborn. Yeah. And he's just, I have no idea really to tell. I mean, my, him and my little brother are a lot more alike. So I really don't, I don't know. But I feel like you're, I'd you're, assume. I feel like if you and your mom argue all the time, she probably likes you the most. Uh, it's like, uh, she'd probably never tell me, though. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. my older brother before has been like, you know, I'm the favorite. Right? <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> Don't deserve that title, but that's whatever. A, dude, yeah, that's my brother. My brother was, yeah. was like just undisputed, like, king of the castle. Yeah. My parents were like, he's the firstborn. <laughs> I've been nothing but an angel, okay? Yeah. And I, what, I'm last? last yeah, that's how I felt. Ranking. I was like, yeah. damn, dude, you and him and my mom would fight all the time. And and still, yeah. he was like number one boy. And I was like, well, fuck you, yeah. dude. I've, I've always been so cordial and everything. But no, I was always second I know. Place. Yeah, I'm always curtsying when I walk in. Mm -hmm. And dusting with a feather duster <laughs> around the house and a little maid outfit. Uh, how many points is that worth, mom? Huh? <laughs> nothing. Was I shooting up? She just always calls me suck up kid. And uh, <laughs> you missed the <this> spot. <laughs> Shit's on the ground in front of me. Yeah. She's real vile. Yeah, that woman. Uh, no, I think it's getting worse. My rankings are getting worse because my little sister's like, I think she, even though she has the easiest life in terms of like, my mom's never had more like free time and money. Um, they're like really hard on her, it seems like, uh, with just like academics and sports and every and like, is it, their, is it the youngest? Yeah, she's it's been working their last since she was like 12. It's her last yeah, attempt it's her, to we make gotta, a... We got to send one to proper college and get yeah. work a real job. No offense, but you said the oldest yeah. one's living like a unibomber in the, in the woods. Not it, living like a And then you, you're, you're, you're like a, a podcaster. Okay. And so they're like, yeah. dude, we really got to hit yeah. this last one. Well, no, she's also like by Out far the most talented. She's the smartest. She's yeah. like really good at stuff. But also when I go over there, I'm like, give her a goddamn break, okay? Like she's good. Like she's... <laughs> She's done it. Like, she's better than me, okay? Yeah. Like, lay off. And my mom gets, she's like, this is not your kid. Like, you back off. And I'm like, what's up? What's up? You want to fucking go? My mom fucking bodies me. Just puts me in a fucking bucket when she's done with me. Beats the shit out of me. And folds me up and shoots me out the house. Um, but I don't know. I just have, you know, siblings. Oh, you mean you only have one. But I have yeah, weird. I, one. I love all my siblings. Like, so you know, I die for any of them. But we have weird dynamics because we're all so different different as and people about and age ages difference? yeah remarkable insane, age different. my yeah. my older brother's seven years <laughs> older and that's the closest i have my younger oh, that's fucked up yeah my younger brother and sister are like 10 or 11 years younger jesus yeah. i feel bad about um just my brother five years difference was too too much of an age gap i feel like for yeah. us to have like any sort of decent Childhood didn't help. bonding. Yeah, I was a narc. My yeah. brother was a cool kid, so we had a... yeah, that, that was yeah. kind of my thing. Like, I yeah. was five years age difference. I was always, I was never cool enough to hang out with while we were kids. You know what the a... worst thing my brother ever did? When I was in kindergarten, I had a yearbook, and there was this girl in sixth grade, and I was perving out. You know, in kinder, I was like, "Whoa, she's so pretty." Blah blah. Years later. Her and my brother start dating. And I like came in the basement once and was like, ear, ear, like, oh, it's a girl from the book. And then uh guy, yeah, he never let me go down there and hang out with him or talk to her ever. He's like, stay out of you little perv. And I'd just be in the windows, you know, creeping around behind paintings with the eyes cut out. Wait, and this then, is a girl he, from his yearbook? No, from my yearbook. Well, they 
they were like the same. He was, she was like a year younger than him. Okay. All right. And when I was in like kindergarten, she was in sixth grade. And okay. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> and then okay, that they lines started up dating. Better. Yeah. yeah, I was like. Whoa. I was like, wait a second. In what yeah. instance would yeah, you be looking at. My was dating a kindergartner. And I, <laughs> I was in Well, you said grade. age difference. What's the, the age difference? Seven years? Yeah. I was like, and if this is any girl that is going to school with you, that yeah, it was like kindergarten. It was like the maximum book difference. It was okay. like me, page one, her like. <laughs> okay. Another creepy thing I did. I mean, this isn't really creepy, but I had a friend in like first grade, Damien. If you're out there, if you ever see this podcast, man, I miss you. And we were just like really good friends because he had that full box set of crayons. I've mm -hmm. probably talked about this, and you know, the sharpener in the back, and that's yeah, like. Yeah. I had like five crowns. This guy had like 54 colors. And he was just a really cool guy. And I've definitely talked about the phone he gave me. But he gave when he left, he's like, I'm I'm moving back to Kentucky. Like, sorry. Like, I'll see you around. Like, here's a phone. Call me. He just gave me a, a flip phone, a little blue and white clear one that plugged into a like landline. No <laughs> yeah. phone number. It was you just like, me call me. This, yeah. And he gave me that. And I went into the yearbook and I like cut out his picture <laughs> and like put it on my desk. It was like, oh, like Damien, like <laughs> miss this guy. When will you and, call? <laughs> yeah. And just never saw him again. Yeah. <laughs> I sat by that phone every night for 10 years. <laughs> like, this is, I, I actually, I vaguely remember time. those phones. Like, I don't think you would plug it into the, you, you plug into the Ethernet port on the yeah, back of your computer. Yeah. 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 I, was, I didn't fucking know what to do with it. I was just like, what the hell is this? Like, hello, can you hear me, Damien? That was like a one way walkie talkie or something. Though. Yeah. I don't know. He did say, look at that moon at night, and I'll be looking to, you know. We share uh, one thing, moon it, phone. Man, I remember when, uh, like, webcams were first coming out. My dad, my parents had just gotten a divorce, and so my dad got me, like, a little, it was, like, an old me. Logitech webcam that the base was, like, a little triangle pyramid thing. Oh, cool. And then the, the webcam itself was a ball that kind of socketed I've, down yeah, into Yeah, I've seen those. And... We got it working like one time so I could just do like a video call to say hi to my dad and it was like Maybe four FPS like yeah, it was so shitty dad. Can you hear me? Yeah, and I don't think I had yeah We didn't have like good mics or anything. I was like this is lame like yeah, it just wasn't And like uh, now that I'm a father like that reverse is just I'm sure on his side It was like the interstellar scene like yeah. watching his <laughs> Watch this kid grow up, and I'm just there like, oh, this is boring. Uh, yeah, <laughs> scratch my playing, ass, walk away. Playing Age Empires over it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm still here, Dad. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, now we're down the street. We always, you know, it's like uh, you say something. I think of memory. I've probably already yeah. fucking gone down this path. We probably had this exact conversation. <laughs> but I remember when my dad had dial up in his little divorce dad house and. He was like, you can sign up for an email. Like, he was just entertaining me. And I had a Comcast.com or like at AOL.net or so. It was some shit. It's not even, you can't even sign into it anymore. And I just sit there and like, I didn't really understand how email worked. And I get like spam messages and be like, oh, yay. <laughs> like, somebody's messaging me. And I typed in a girl in my grade's name, just her name, no email address. <laughs> and was like, hey, like, what, what's up? Like, and I got no reply, and I was like, oh, my God, like, she hates me. <laughs> just not even how email works, you know. I had I just had such a tenuous grasp on communications. I'd get on my little phone that's not plugged into anything and type <laughs> names on email. I was, Why is everyone ignoring me? Um, I remember seeing my dad's email and just seeing, like, hundreds of messages of, man, one of these days I'm going to be important like yeah. that. And now my email is just, just hundreds of messages. Fucking, yeah. and I'm like, fuck, dude, yeah. this I sucks. keep getting like, your storage is filling up. You need, you're not going to get any emails anymore. I'm like, can you do that to me? Like, just fucking delete everything. I mean, it's all bullshit anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm, I, I've turned into an old man where like now whenever they're like, do you want to subscribe to our newsletter? You might get like a, a deal. I'm like, yeah. I love deals. Sure. Sign me up. Now I have a million if I, you know, it's not like lame shit. It's not like Coles bucks or anything like that, but it I, is uh, uh, a lot of just spam garbage. 
it's and they've even got like curated tabs for like this is your primary <laughs> and you're getting this much fucking spam like <laughs> i don't even want to know what's in the like marketing fucking tab um i can't remember if i've talked about this or just like teetered on it before i'm like it's not like too personal and too sad or whatever but if i if i've talked about this cut me off but that same girl that i sent an email to you know now she's married she's got a kid or whatever it was just like crushing grade school i got them all on when adventure quest online was the thing i had like everyone in the grade i'm like guys you got to play like when we go like when we get computer time like you got to get on this fucking game and it's just this shitty little it was awesome at the time it was adventure quest worlds i think it was called anyway it's just this flash game and this girl gave me her account at one point and was like yeah can you like help level me up and i fucking signed in on two tabs and had us do a mission together with like my character and her character and i remember at one point on her character i typed like hey sam and then i was like no this is like this is getting too weird but i was like i was like like making a scenario i mean i'm in like third grade or something but i was like yee uh, <laughs> I'm looking up Adventure yeah. Quest right now. That is the saddest shit. Now imagine my hot dude character in this anime babe. And it's like, hey, Sam. And then I'm like, what, what are you doing, man? Like, this is never going to work. <laughs> our, um, our computer lab game of choice was Chips Challenge. If you ever played I think that. I ever played that. Uh, Chips Challenge fucking rocked. When you would complete a, a, a level, you would get like a little code. And then you could save that code, and next time you'd get on, and everybody would remember the code for the level. Oh, that's cool. And then we would all sit there and, and do the level, and then when a new code was out, if someone was stuck, we would just, like, you know, you're not supposed to tell the teacher that you're not playing Mavis Beacon. So everybody would, like, whisper, like, the word's out. The code is this. <laughs> and you would play a big game of telephone as everybody... The that's last sweet. person never got the real code, by the way. The code got yeah. fucked up halfway down. And so he was like, what's the code, guys? But <laughs> he can't make a big stink or else the teacher's going to know. Me trying to play online games with my <laughs> friends. Come on, there's a room for one. Come on, guys. There's a, I mean, you can squeeze in one more. Sorry, three player. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, there was this game. We There was this thing that, like, it was built into our computers. And for a while, it was the most fun you could have. What was mm -hmm. it called? Wait, if someone if someone in the audience knows what I'm fucking talking about, I'm amazed. I think it was called like Inspire or something. Uh, I don't. It was Inspire basically Inspire is that Al Qaeda magazine. Oh yeah, that's what. They, well, they were they were radicalizing us <laughs> in our Indiana school. Yeah, it was post 9-11 world, and we chose our side. Yeah. <laughs> we, we took a controversial the route. Inspire game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was just a bunch of wire up a and bomb. words that flash, and we'd go, uh, 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 And they go, your activation code is, and I don't remember it, of course, but one day it'll be said. Um, but no, it was, just, it was basically like PowerPoint, but it had a bunch of pre, like, put in it, like, stickers and GIFs, kind of. And you could kind of make a little, like, scene. And my friend Isaac was really good at, like, he would, like, set them up and then you would do, like, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, right, and slowly move, like, a soldier. And you would kind of have, like, almost like a, like a puppet show going on. You know, I want to say there was, like, two versions. One started with a K. I can't remember what it's called. Really fucking fun, though, for no, like, just, like, literally you could look up, like, space and you get a little space background then look up like star wars you maybe get a maybe a guy it's like gift cities but like sorry cut that out salt if you don't have your fucking thing out there and uh but you would just like move them slowly at each other and be like yeah also pivot stick figure animator my friend isaac was really uh, did you ever play that no 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 it was like an app you could download where you, you could animate stick figure, stick figure films. And you could move their joints. Mm -hmm. And people would do like battle scene. You do it frame by frame and then play. Really cool. Like, I remember they had a donkey in there. They had a stick figure, stick figure girl. <clears throat> you could just, you would just basically make them like. But there was Do you remember kids. those like stick figure like fight scenes that people would do where they, they would get like millions of views on you? That yeah, was like those early like, YouTube. Wait, the animator versus animation? Yeah. Or something. Maybe, those yeah. were fucking sweet. Where like yeah. the stick figure would break into the computer. Yeah. Those were like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, those were really sweet. 
I'm about 200,000 of those views. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I would sit there and what about, uh, watch it. That, was it stickdeath.com? Did you ever go to that? That was like an early, like an early, like new groundsy type site, but it was like just stick so figure. You, like, like torture them or whatever? Or no? no, it was like a, it was like this guy would make like these little shorts and there were stick figures. And I thought it was just like funny over gratuitous violence against stick figures. And then when I got older, I realized that the green stick figures were supposed to be black people. And it was oh. just like really racist <laughs> animations. And I always just the thought they were funny as figures. hell. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they, they got really well, turned there, around. There was other, well, it's a white background, so you can have a white <laughs> stick figure. Yeah, of course. So they, were, they had a little uh, message on the top where they're like, here's the key. Uh, <laughs> black people are green. Uh, yeah. Asian people are blue. Okay. So now look at this with this <laughs> lens. Okay. Yeah. Look how fucked up this is. That's awesome. Yeah. There was blue stick figures. Those were the cops. Oh. Yeah. But there were, yeah, uh, no. you know what? I went back and watched like, a, I think it was like you a compilation on, on YouTube. Yeah. I watched one as an adult, and I'm like, holy shit, this isn't even funny. This is just horrific. Yeah, These are wonder, just horrific. Yeah. I wonder why you like, like a, how a, you are. A little cop stick figure peeling out on the body of a green stick figure. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, get him. Yeah. <laughs> little kid you is fucking... <laughs> woo, woo. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was the funniest shit in the world when I was a kid. Yeah, we make animations of stick figures holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Working to, they've made a... Link around the world, all different <laughs> colors. <laughs> Stick figure. We won an award. So, dude, I miss those days of fucking like, just the joy of playing fucking flash games with your friends, like after school or something. Or even like on the bus. I remember once again, my friend Isaac. He was the guy that always had all the DS games. And back then, you didn't even have to have the fucking game. One guy could have Mario Kart and start a lobby, and everyone could just join. And you did not want to be left out of those, I'll tell you what. But everyone's just fucking rocking on their DSs, you know, like kids have got their fucking sister's pink one or whatever. Like, yeah, it was a real sensation. Like, you really had to be a part of it. It was, it was truly a good ass time. Online games ruined it, man. Yeah, in a way, in a way. I feel I like I fucking hate my job <laughs> playing online games. <laughs> online I wish games, I was watching man. stick figures jerk off like I used to. <laughs> no, honestly, uh, <laughs> computer games like has saved my life. No, it just it just in like the amount of people that you can meet online. Because look at any of your friends that have like blue collar jobs or anything like that. Like, what's their social life like? It drops off real quick in your late 20s. There's a lot of people yeah, that just I mean, have nothing going on. We're in our mid-20s, so we don't really know that yet. But uh, <laughs> I'm also lucky. I mean, I've got a pretty strong, ingrained, like, friend group that we all grew up together. And then no. all went to college. And then now a lot of us live in Indianapolis and shit. Some people are scattered around. But we got a pretty good, like, discord of just, like, IRL guys. But it's still through the computer. You're yeah. able to keep in touch and stuff. It's A lot of people that just beautiful. rely on just Facebook. It's My it's grandma. Them some sad times. Sad it makes me times. Wanna, nothing makes me more sad than just, like, grandma posts on Facebook or, like, mm -hmm. just, like, a, a mom Facebook post that gets like four likes or something. I'm just like, I'm going to fucking kill myself. Like, this is so fucking sad. Or like just the knowledge of like, I should go to my grandma's and just fucking watch a movie with her. But every time I go in there, I'm like, uh, okay, like it's getting pretty late. I just feel like a selfish, selfish. I feel like a selfish piece of shit bastard. Every time I leave <laughs> one of my grandma's houses, because last night I told you, dude, I told you about my fucking my my one grandma's actually like the fucking she's the goat. OK, she's greatest grandma all the time. Are you wearing Just my like, dog tag? Yeah, yeah. I was wondering when you noticed that. <laughs> I've got my limited edition Tarkov Arena General Sam. It's like almost illegible from that. Yeah, it that is the fun. General Sam. It's horrible fucking. <laughs> it, it looks like that. Made up alien yeah. dialect from the fifth element. <laughs> it's yeah. just good garbage. Yeah, this is fucking Star Wars or something. But then my other grandma, she's so. Because one of. Okay, sorry. Let's get into grandma talk. One of my grandmas is like me, how I'll see myself in like 50 years, where she just kind of sits. She was married one time and then got divorced like 40, 50 years ago because her mm -hmm. husband cheated on her. 
and then now she's just never dated again and she just sits in her house and like watches movies and tv and i'm like that could be me that could easily be me just fading away in this house just watching shit but she likes it you know she's actually put me on to a lot of really good she's got great taste yeah. my other grandma's in a similar vein but like by the way cool big group- ups to people that can be like that yeah and not lose their intellect yeah no she's still sharp she's yeah. funny she because some people go I waste like away by probably, themselves for decades and like their yeah, brains yeah. just mush. i don't want to think about it but she's probably like very lonely and stuff yeah. like many old people but then my other grandma cool grandma like when we talk you know it's all like oh things are good my other grandma is like brutally honest <laughs> and just doesn't seem to have she has no like i went in there when i visited my family and i'm like <laughs> My mom's like, you go in there, you talk to your grandma. Like, give her like five minutes. I'm like, you know, it's not going to be five minutes. <laughs> and I went in there and I've definitely talked about it. She's just like, I'm like, oh, hey, hey, grandma, how are you? And she's like, <laughs> like, like, not good, Sammy boy. Like, I, yeah, I've been alive too long. Like, I don't I'm have the long. End of my rope. Yeah, she's like, dialysis. I don't even know if it's doing anything. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, well, I love what you've done with the place. And she's like, go look at the basement. And I go down there and she, I come back up. She's like, did you see the angel? I'm like, no. She's like, go down there and look at the angel. <laughs> and I just had to like slowly like check out every room in the house. She's such a sweetheart. And then we go into this room that's just like, creepy. Like, it's just pictures of everyone in the family from, like, all different years. I don't even yeah. recognize, like, 90% of them. And she's like, do you have a picture of me? Like, no, I don't think so. She's like, here, here's one. She just gives me, like, a, it's like signs from the back. It's like, this is your grandma when she was pretty. I'm like, oh, grandma, you're still pretty. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, don't lie to me, boy. I'm like, okay. And she just sleeps at night with a fucking revolver under her pillow, just waiting to kill a criminal. And she scares me, honestly. She's my mom's mom. My mom's scary. My grandma's is scarier. I don't know. She's got this, like, real... She's real sweet, just, like, classic, like, cookie grandma. But uh, yeah. also, I feel like she'd just shoot me in the fucking leg if I was like, this soup's a little cold. I don't know. She, she uh, Or if I was like, that angel's a little tacky, she'd be like... <laughs> like whack me in the leg with a tire iron <laughs> put me in a cage uh, or something i don't know no, mine's just like a like a guilt trip yeah that's all it is like every she's she doesn't want to be direct so she won't come out and say what she wants but she'll fucking like tiptoe around it peckish yeah. for medicine <laughs> yeah she's like tell oh. you what kind of medicine <laughs> She'll just drop like little hints about stuff, and I go, Dude, "Are you trying to say you want like a new dresser?" Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for bringing that up. I mean, okay, Grandma, I'll get you a new dresser. Talk to me like a person. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's she's always just been like that. That's that's Southern. Yeah. That's Southern. Yeah. They won't fucking tell you what they want. Well, she's they'll just, they'll my, that, dance that's, around it. That's my little. I would Southern like to have the one that's like direct. I think she's gotten yeah. like the older she gets, the more she's like, "I'm close." The more she's like, "Ah, oh, fuck it." <laughs> Yeah, they, like, I don't need it's, any honestly, hospitality. Like, I'm just fucking. I love that shit. The older people yeah. get, like, my mom was like that, where she just, the older she got, she was like, ah, I don't care about all these pleasantries and shit. <laughs> I've <laughs> got a confession. I was the one making those stick figure videos, the yeah. black green stick figures getting beaten. Yeah, it actually wasn't a anymore. website that you were just on. <laughs> you were just on your desktop. I was just emailing you those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or those are just what's are right curse. in here. Yeah. Those are yeah. that's what's right in here. I just made <laughs> what's just in a my glimpse heart. into my twisted reality. <laughs> <laughs> I what always cracked me up is like there was there was multiple that ended with just like a guy peeling out on a dead body, and he would roll down the window and just go die, 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 and then he would <laughs> peel out. I'm like that is, you know, as a little kid, I was like. Ah! Of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yelling, die, 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 and peel out. Of, but that's like yeah. a grown man making those. Like, that's really I mean, scary yeah. when you think about it. <laughs> so much grown anger behind man. these, <laughs> these five points of articulation. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! You took everything from me! <laughs> I'm going to peel out for 20 seconds on this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. 
Oh, uh, I kind of miss some of those old websites, though, on the internet, to be honest. I don't think, I, like, any of the shock websites are still are still up. I never liked... Uh, I mean, of course, I saw the Pain Olympics. I saw, like, all the class blew off. Like, you know, yeah. you're a kid. You, you have to. Yeah. But I never wanted... I don't like seeing gore or anything... It was never now. gore for me. It was a, like no. Gote was Shock. a classic. That oh, yeah. was because like, there's. A, I don't like anything like too. There's like, nothing violent about it. It's just uh, like holy yeah. shit, dude. Yeah. That is the very edges of what the human body can do. That's that's. Oh, insane. so you're fascinated by the? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am absolutely the fascinated. Limit, limit testing a human body. Yeah, I the Pain Olympics not a fan of. All right, I don't want any like ball that's cutting limit off. Testing. That's not that's limit testing in the same way that like let's see if I can get my leg blown off and you then like survive. You like stretching. It. Yes, yeah. You like that mad guy walked away. Brain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That guy so walked far. away from that. The Pain Olympics, see yeah. the, there was probably a hospital visit involved. Yeah. Um I, I don't like seeing people get injured and the the Goatse guy was doing that on his own accord. Same thing with Tub Girl. Have you ever seen that classic picture? I don't know. Okay, what, let me maybe let me lay the scene down for Tub Girl. Honestly, I'm glad I can't picture this super well. Gone. <laughs> yeah, what is cl- she close doing? your is eyes. We'll see if we can. We'll see if we can break through your aphantasia. I'm in my or matrix room and it's beautiful. Okay, <laughs> okay, what are you adding to it? Okay, I'm <laughs> adding a white porcelain tub. Your okay. the camera yeah, is I'm, looking I'm, that's down. Easy. Yeah, I'm already in a white room. Yeah, it's the camera's looking down into the tub. In okay, the tub, like movie shot a guy that killed himself in a tub. Yeah, exactly. Okay. In the bottom of the tub is a lady. She's laying on her back, and she's got her legs, like, kind of, I guess, under her armpits. <laughs> so her ass is pointing straight up in the air, right? Are and her they, legs going under them like that, or are they just, like, up and bent? I think they're just up and bent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she's got her ass straight up in the air, and she is spraying a healthy geyser of diarrhea that is arcing towards the camera. It oh. goes out of focus, I believe, because it gets it's getting so close to the lens. And then it comes back down and it's just like a perfect like a water fountain into her face. And it's just splattering on her face. And someone took that photo. And I think that's the only photo of this lady that exists online, which is hilarious that like her one photo online. Can't wait to look at that and be like, that's my grandma. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> And it was just like a, a shock sight image that kind of like Gotze, but uh, man, just the one and done. Just the fact that that's like the one piece of media she dropped and then walked away. One hit wonder. Yeah. More like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's an insane one hit wonder. One hit wonder. wonder. More yeah. like it. Yeah. That yeah, one's great. I, I think I like, I think I threw up when I saw two girls, one cop and that's like fake or something, but just the... Yeah. Even like the thought of it provoking, it's like ugh, like a little uh, like a tingle <laughs> no, no, in the throat. Any when, once it goes from like picture form to like a video, yeah, that kind of breaks a different boundary for me, and then it, it really gets gross. But I can look at an image of something usually, and it's more just like gross fascination. But once that image is broken down into many frames and then <laughs> yes. put rapid fire. Oh, yeah. oh. Like if someone if someone animated the diarrhea stream to through, actually be yeah. flipping through a post-it notebook of oh my god, they're moving. <laughs> That's when it's too far from yeah. me. Adding motion to it <laughs> ruins it. You had to pause that stick figure beat down every couple seconds so you could <laughs> whoa, it's not real. So I could it's start again. <laughs> Oh my god, my conscience is speaking up. I gotta slow this down. You've, you've desensitized yourself over the years. I because it's like I have those friends where when we were, you know, fifth grade, there are you know, people are looking through like nudie mags and stuff. And then there's people that are like, Okay, well, I'm gonna just, like show my friends hardcore porn on like the family computer. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I I'm gonna start getting into like live leak stuff. And it's those people are just different like they're they're they just form like been a that guy. apathy. Yeah, I've yeah, seen I, you I've that been guy. That, I'm that yeah, guy. I, yeah. I met that guy. Um, I'm still that guy in some ways. Yeah. I'll yeah, still. I, yeah, I'm aware. Yeah. yeah, I'll still watch. But you're, you're little. You're little. Uh, your edges have rounded a little. I had in kids. Ways. Yeah, kids. I had kids. I said, "Hey, my kids could grow up and be one of these guys in this industrial live leak video." Yeah. Uh, someone getting falling into a foundry or something. Yeah. And it's uh. 
you know, it still is just kind of, there's something that wakes you up a little bit when you watch the frailty of human life where it's like that guy was just walking and then he fell into a trash compactor. I hate, dude, anything and where it's, it's like a tire flew off a semi and blew yeah. up a car. I'm like, oh, that could happen to me very easily. Yeah. I love sitting in the blind spot of a semi, sneaking <laughs> up on them. Dude. <laughs> well, that's me. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's just like one in a millions out there that are just astounding. And when they happen, it it's, uh, it's, makes me scared to go outside a little bit. Yeah. But I, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to say I like to, to view it, but when I consume it, I kind of – I go upstairs and I talk to my kids and I kind of relish it a little bit more. Yeah. Go, That's hey, what kids. did it for me, too. You, you having kids yeah. really softened me. <laughs> and my edges. I was, you know what? I'm going to put down this. I'm going to put down this. I don't even know what I have. Smut book or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put down this big cup of racism. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done you know sipping what? from that. I'm going to pour this out halfway <laughs> and say it's half full. I got mm. a more positive... <laughs> I'm only half racist now. Yeah, half full of Eureka, racist. Yeah. Yeah. Hate. Hate. <laughs> racist fuel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. I love to, uh, this is back in time. I, my, my little Southern grandma, every time there's a story where it's like, oh, you don't need to say that. She's always like, and he, he was this black fellow that uh, like married your cousin or whatever. And like, he's actually black. <laughs> whatever. I'm like, Okay, Grandma, like, it's real uh, important. She, it depends I on the like usage. I she's, like, wants to, like, because she's, like, trying to prove she's not racist or something. Yeah. I feel like someone once has been like, Grandma, you're a goddamn racist. <laughs> and now she's just always like, well, like, look at this picture. Like, I don't care for Obama, but not because uh, anything. Not uh, Well, he's not American, but not because that, you know. Yeah. She's, uh... She's pretty hardcore. Uh, we walk in there and she's just like <laughs> fast out with Fox News, like blaring in her face. I and, just uh, I just had a bunch of entertain a bunch Hannity. of family while they were in and uh, for the funeral and and this I, I didn't like get into it, but this fucking guy obviously wanted to have like a fight about not like a fight. He just he wanted to vent about Fetterman to me. He's just got the, some. He came in with just yeah, like he just came in I'm with baggage about about <laughs> Fetterman. <laughs> And he was just like, Fetterman, can you believe this? He wears fucking sweatpants on the Senate floor. And I was like, that's your problem with this guy? Yeah. Is that... I mean, not policy or nothing? Or... <laughs> no, not that e either. Like, no, yeah. of course it's not that. It's just the just the fucking sweatpants. And yeah, uh, I... it didn't once bring up that he's had a stroke or anything like that. Or, yeah. you know, he's been he's reduced mentally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that would have been a viable kind of complaint. Be like penis in those pants. <laughs> when people bring his up penis that isn't shit, big enough be, for sweatpants. I would be totally on his side, maybe. You know, it's, yeah. Biden's like I, fucking uh, like ninety or something now. Trump's in his eighties. Christ, yeah. Fetterman's well, had a goddamn some, stroke. Like, I, I'm all for co questioning people's cognitive yeah. capabilities. Yeah, but some if term you're limits or something on these fucking old ass, just like. <laughs> <laughs> When you're when you're calling into question like is that appropriate attire? I'm like I don't fucking care. Biden but, can't even read. What are you? <laughs> uh, there's there's lower fruit to grasp. Yeah. At. There's there's quicker things you can own me for, dude. Come on. I uh one of my best friends is he just, his mom started dating a new guy and he's just been talking about how the guy will just come over and. My friend is like the one person in his family who's like pretty typical, I guess, from where I come from. Like a lot of my friends my age, like they're like the sibling that went to college or something. Or yeah, <clears throat> well, he's definitely he's way smarter than me. You know, he was like top of our class and really, really, really smart dude. But not like he's not like politically savvy or anything. Yeah. And this guy will come over and be like, "Okay, so you're the smart guy, huh? Like you're the smart guy. I want to talk to you about like." trans people my friend's like i dude why <laughs> like why do you and he says he does it like he does debate nights with him and he's just every time that guy comes over he's like oh my fucking god because he'll just be like what do you think about like black lives matter my friend's like why are you asking me man like why why am i like what do you want from me like what do you want me to say dude like just tell me what you want to hear and i'll fucking will you stop talking and when Even someone primes that, you with that, they've they've had some sort of. He's been like fucking reading, like <laughs> yeah, he's been reading shit and is like, he's I'm got ready some to like infowars take my girlfriend's yeah. son, and 
he he also even worse, much worse than that. Uh, he's integrated a nickname for my friend <laughs> that my friend just absolutely hates, and he's like trying to get more people, I think, to like call him this nickname. <laughs> And it's the big O. My friend's like, fuck, I hate that. <laughs> like, the big O? It, yeah, he just, Isn't like, that an anime? I don't I'm sure big, that guy doesn't know Big O is that. an anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure neither of them know that. <laughs> but uh, just coincidence. Because his name starts with an O. And it's like, it doesn't even have like an O sound to it. But he's like, because I was like, hey, man, how's your, I saw on Facebook your mom's dating a new guy. Like, how's that going? He's, instantly, he's like, this fucking guy debates me and calls me the big o like fucking uh, he's just, like kind of nice i guess like he's nice to my mom but jesus christ like yeah i'm very lucky like my stepdad's never just been like you know what i'm gonna call you samson or something like okay cool yeah. dude you know what i honestly i'm on that guy's side now just because the big o i mean that's really I'm, funny to just like come up with a nickname for someone and then force it upon them like a big ass fa- like my friend has like eight siblings and now yeah. this new guy's come in and been like, "We're this guy's a fucking what it's a king, a power dude." Move. Yeah, it's a it's power a move. Power I'm play. gonna fuck with the dynamic. I'm fucking yeah. your mom. You're getting a new nickname. Here we go. You're, You're getting a little name. L. You're yeah. a fucking fat zero. <laughs> <laughs> your wife's a boner garage. Okay. Uh, yeah, I yeah, think, that guy rocks. You know what? Yeah, I'm turning a little bit. You know, Big O, you're a you're a pussy for complaining about that. You're learning topics. Okay, no, you're getting dude, debated. You can't, you can't you got a accept cool the name. Nickname. If you accept the nickname, you're accepting his role. Yeah, as the pack leader, he's the new patriarch of your like <laughs> yeah. all boy fucking brother family. This guy, oh, yeah, he fuck. also. This is just rude, but what a power has, trip that must be to just become the new head of a household. You just walk well, in. The funny thing is, too, like this is not you know you think like power. You, you're maybe imagining this guy is like a kind of a big like <laughs> maybe burly like you're big. Oh, no, now. it's even it's even funnier if he goes in and he's not that at all. He looks like a human chipmunk. Like he's this short little bald guy that's like like he's all jolly looking uh, and my friend and all, his, awesome. all my friend's brother is like the most ripped guy i've ever seen he's what a in power there like, trip What's up, little man like, yeah. okay. <laughs> i want to go bang your mom in our fucking fuck room like it's gonna stink he i'd get out I'd clear off. out he yeah. waddles <laughs> out <laughs> i'm i'm big d now that's what you call me <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the guy that makes your mom fucking scream. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. He walks I, out of the room and goes, Your name's not Big O anymore. That's your mom's yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She gave me a couple big O's in there, a couple big O's, too. Yeah. High five. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, uh, fuck. That really spiced up my household <laughs> dynamics. Yeah, that guy rocks. <laughs> if my yeah. roommate started dating an old man that came in here and gave me a nickname or something. <laughs> Somebody just comes in while I'm recording all the time. Are you working in here? Yeah. Uh, headphones uh, on, please. It's going to be loud upstairs. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude. This fucking guy. <laughs> it's a group text, group family text. AirPods in. Oh, jeez. AirPods <laughs> I, in. I know what's happening. Uh, why, have you seen roommate. that? Um, God, what's that fucking show where the, the guy like goes in and fix businesses? Oh, it's like a joke show. John. Oh, I thought, oh, Nathan for you. Yeah, Nathan for you. I then he like John construct Tapper like a it? like a sensory deprivation tank John for Tapper. a kid, and then the kid gets in, in there the and they have like an orgy, yeah, like a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have it's an orgy room so you can bang. Yeah, everybody getting like, their I fucking boxes. It's really nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's got animal noises playing in it and stuff. <laughs> that is yeah. that's one of the most fucked up like. I because I've shown that show to a lot of people. I'm like, you gotta watch this. Yeah. And I remember I showed that episode of the wrong person where they're like, "This is vile. <laughs> this is so wrong." Like, it's um, right. Just a fucking. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. What's wrong? They with probably that? even don't actually have the kid in there. No, while there's no way. They fucking there's no move way. Him out. It's just a f- just absurd. Yeah. Have you seen his new show? Newer show now. Oh well, now he's got an even newer show that just came out like yesterday, but um, the. What's it called? Jesus Christ. Nate. It's called like the Fielder Method. No, it's not called the Fielder Method. What the fuck's it called? Have you seen that you Twitter I, page? It's called you know like Women about? for for yeah, Nathan. Or yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's I, definitely I, I just I him, him, I think, and just posting about himself. 
Yeah, that guy's legendary. He's so hot, isn't he? he he's such a funny guy. No, he's he's hilarious. Yeah. What the fuck is... Dude, I, using Bing, it's like they're on a different fucking planet. Yeah. Like the wait, search results. Dude. When I showed you those fucking image results, it's like that for... <laughs> I looked up earlier, was, Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, <laughs> Gen V, when we were talking about him. Not a single picture of him from the fucking show that's like the most popular show in America right now. I was what, trying what to show happening? I was trying to show Poob like this there's a was it Pueblo Colorado it's like oh, yeah. has very high crime statistics and he's like is this the same place you're looking at and Bing had brought him to like pictures of like Pueblo like Neolithic cave dwellings yeah, yeah he's like, like wow the want, crime statistics like are, are this high here a lot like, of people are getting hit in the head with a big club here or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone, what the hell? Oh, the rehearsal. The rehearsal. You should really watch that. I plugged that on you when it came out. I pushed a lot of shows on you, and then. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And then you'll forget, and then like four years from now, you'll watch it, and you'll come to me and be like, hey, Have you ever seen this show? Yep. Oh, I'll kill myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. Okay, so my two guiders, my two muses in media are you for just any like video or like any show slash movie let me guess and then bizzle, bizzle for games for music oh games. no okay. he fu no i'm on my own musical journey i i don't like it getting sent. Sense. yeah i don't like getting sent music usually but uh That's fair. i don't really either yeah because it's it's music is so Personal. mood it's so mood driven too yeah. where like something could be resonating with me heavy and then i'll i'll send it to somebody else i kept sending my wife uh lucille bogan um uh, jazz songs, and she didn't like them I at all. I fucking love. I love listening to jazz and shit. Though. Yeah, and um, she didn't think it was good at all. And she told me Bizzle to stop. Bizzle sends the most game recommendations that anyone anybody. I've ever seen. Yeah, dude, I, if yeah. you guys want to see, I just didn't know there were that many games. <laughs> Go look at his wish list on it. Steam. Look at I his know, wish I, list. It is hundreds, good, hundreds. I, Every almost every new game I look at, he's like the only guy that has it wish listed. <laughs> yeah. And if I buy it, I'll send him a message like, "Pretty good, dude." Check it I, out. But he's got like probably like fucking thousand games go, go, on his wish list. At his house, did you see his computer? His when he has a browser open, the tabs he has so many fucking I tabs that. open. I do that too. They're or just I've got, slivers. You can't see them. Yes, it's just an X, or like <laughs> you can't even X them. You got to fucking take. He will them out have first. hundreds open, and I, it'll just yeah. be like new Steam game, new Steam game, new Steam game, and then he'll oh, be like, "I'm just like gonna," that. and then it's just like some random video, random video, some weird ass editing technique, and it'll just be this fucking. I, I don't even know how he lives his life, being People that hectic. Fucking hated me during. <laughs> my internship because i'd have i'd have like on each monitor like a thousand fucking tabs and then yeah. sometimes when you had to plug in and show people what you're doing i'd be like oh okay hold on one second i think it's this one i click it's like cutest puppy pics I'm like, oh no not that and i click over here I'm like can't fuck you can't they're not big enough to see the description i'm like uh, got about 1500 googles open i got three monitors well, i got yeah, right now i've got just pretty one tab at standard. a time is good enough for me Maybe well, you're pretty, you have two. a very single track mind, though. You can't really do, take yeah. in much. Yeah, I can't. Very uh, laser focus on Which one is thing. Blessing, kind of, because I'm so way. scattered that yeah. I never really focus on anything enough. Yeah, I, I feel like in a conversational setting, I can get your attention for what? 30 seconds. What are you, the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, no, I, no you've the, got me. And then it, you, and then it, you capture me. And then, See, the and then problem is fleeting. though, I interrupt people a lot because that fucking like, you say something that makes me think of something. I'm like, no. if I don't say it right fucking now, I'm it's going gone. to forget it. But it's, it's also either. like something I need to work on because it's like what I think my idea is more important than whatever you're going on. But you, I trust normally more to like you'll remember what you were talking about. No, me. It doesn't you, work that way. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. But if it makes I'm you feel selfish. any better, I don't take offense to okay, good, yeah. being cut off. It doesn't you. bother me. Awesome. What does bother me, though, is not the being cut off. Because if you're cutting someone off to engage in the conversation we're having, that just means you're engaged. Yeah, you're that, the, that That's an awesome conversation. I fucking hate it when I'm talking to someone and then they just go... Hey, uh, how long should, like, what should I preheat the oven to or something? Like, they just, they're completely just disengaged from the conversation. Yeah. They're, like, not even listening to you anymore. 
that fucking drives me bananas. Peanut, I, I was talking to him, and, like, mid-conversation, he just, like, looks away and starts to... He got so bad at that sometimes. I felt like... It. He was at the Wubby booth. I felt like diving over that fucking table. <laughs> yeah, well, going yeah, for Yeah, I him. mean, like, they're there, though, to, like, talk to, like, people are coming up. You can't like, talk to me for 35 to to seconds. Yeah. 35 seconds, that's all I asked for. Come yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, I know. I, I have some friends that do that. Or, you know what drives... I've said this before, too. Drives me fucking bonkers... If I'm like talking to you, let's say there's a third, let's say Brian's here. Yeah. And then like I say something to you and you don't reply to me. You look over to Brian. I'm not saying you do this. I just have a friend that does this. Like look over to the third person and like make yeah, a remark. This about, guy. Yeah, yeah. But like completely cut the person out. And I'm like, why are you looking at? I don't know what it, it just drives me fucking crazy when my friend does this. Like he'll just bring in the other guy to like, win a point against me but he'll just cut me out of it and i'm like a fucking fly on the wall it makes me want to wring his goddamn neck i mean i just go fucking feral like i maybe even knows it makes me so mad and he's that's doing why it he does purpose. it he's doing it on you would do yeah. it because it'd make me mad like yeah but I well now that i, I found that doing. out <laughs> i'm writing that down yeah well now that i know you hate how fucking what, what was that stalt what are you saying okay yeah there's something cooler going on over here <laughs> It does. It's real. Oh my god! Don't even get me, dude. If I put on a fucking movie and you pull out your phone, or if you go, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I go, okay, I'll pause it, and you go, no, I'm fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. Why don't I just fucking kill myself? Like, what am I even doing? It, it, nothing. I mean, it's just such an admittance of like you don't give a shit about what you're watching at all. Yeah. Like, I, I, I guess I'm just jerking myself off here, making you watch this because. You don't want me to pause it, so you you're gonna miss dialogue. I, you know, or someone that has their phone out during the fucking where the titles are playing at the very beginning. Yeah. That's a part of the movie. Yeah, that's some the of the best part of Django Unchained here. was yeah. the like Django yeah. and the animated hands coming up and breaking what the chain. What was that? What happened? Yeah, I was looking at something. You know, I was looking it's at like, some bullshit. Fuck off, yeah. Top 15 cutest kittens of the week. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? I know. That, there's, I find it's very personal to me, like showing someone a movie, like being like, this is a part of something I love. When they disrespect that, they're spitting in my fucking face. They're just yeah. absolutely shitty on me. And oh, I wait, wait, movie wait, wait. Night. A little sideway, real quick. Yeah. I mentioned Django, and then I just, got, I, I just got reminded of something that I potentially might have a... a fucking a deal working out with the displate if you've ever heard of them i've, I've heard heard of them yeah uh i don't really know well they're it like a, it's like a fucking like metal poster oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and they were like hey do you if we send you some can you like shill them and i was yeah. like of course you know and they were like pick out your five and I, and so i picked out an awesome spread they had like the whole frank frazetta catalog there ah cool and so i got a bunch of those and then i got some um they just had like some collage work of like the uh you know space mid century collages do you remember those we talked yeah. about those yeah. for like Sorry, a couple I just years ago like yeah, this. I, yeah i can't remember the artist that does those things but there's like this is my there's listening couple of, face gotcha wow this is really far away from your usual engagement Okay, this has me concerned on a different level. This is now the most irritating thing you've ever done to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most intently I've ever listened in. But I, yeah. Anyways, uh, I, I made my selections. I sent it to him. And he, he goes, he just like emailed me earlier today. And he goes, uh, yeah, actually, it turns out one of those was like fan art for, oh, oh one of them was a Django Unchained poster. Oh. And cool. he was like, it turns out one of those was like fan art for Warhammer. So we just sent you five Warhammer official posters instead. And I emailed uh, him back. I was like, I don't even fucking like Warhammer. Yeah. I, I don't like even know. It's in itself. Yes. It is like, here's and, some fucking. And not only that, but like game. none of the things I picked out were fucking Warhammer. Oh, wait, Warhammer. I was thinking, I don't know. I was thinking War Thunder for some yeah. reason. Oh, no, that would be even worse. A yeah. fucking like yeah, pay to thought, win. Uh, yeah, that's fucking, what I thought. It was like Raid Shadow yeah. Legends. Here's fucking five. <laughs> five Raid Shadow cool, Legends. But art. also, Warhammer has a cool world, but like I'm not into it. Yeah. I'm not fair. that yeah. level of nerd. I'm not painting figurines and shit. My figurines. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just like a different I level. I get there. But. And, uh, 
And I swear, if these show up on my doorstep and it's five goddamn Warhammer things like he's claiming it is, I'm hoping he thinks he's take, he's talking to somebody else and he's yeah. really fucked up somebody else's order. Because I don't know how you could take Frank Frazetta busty ass. It's like the, the it's called The Sorceress by Frank Frazetta. It's just a nude lady with big boobs like doing a little I'm 1970s you at sorceress some point, stance. Uh, sculpture my brother made of a frank frazetta cover it's really oh, cool that's, like creek that's clay awesome. it's really badass sorry go on that's awesome i just i should have gotten five of the horniest frank frazetta prints that they had <laughs> you got some smut or something like jesus christ yeah <laughs> just as long as she's got like barbarian yeah. tattered clothes on i'm good yeah that guy was the horniest yeah. painter in the yeah. world man he rocked <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's this got, like, I have a presented like, piece huge. right here. It's fucking great. It's just a, a guy on the back of a dinosaur. He's got a bow and arrow, and then he just has bikini lady on his lap. <laughs> I just got awesome. Yeah, the other day at the thrift store, I got a Michael Whalen shirt. Who's like the artist that has done like uh, I recognized him because I knew he he had done the cover for Way of Kings, like one of my favorite mm -hmm. books. But he's also done like all the dark towers, like all he's done so many. He's like a, he's like the father of like fucking sci-fi book covers. Huh. And I got a Did sick you like ass, it just says like Michael Whalen or Whalen. I don't know how you say it, but then it's got like it's got it's from a book called like Dragon Riders or something. I've never read the book or seen the cover before, but it's like a dragon up on a pillar, and it's kind of cool. But I would like sell my fucking nut if it were something i you know really liked i i'm missing some of his i know he's done it's like w h e l a n w if you just look at his you will recognize a lot of his shit like even oh, one of yeah, his, that look. one of his okay. prints i didn't even know it was his shit my friend has just had in his apartment for like years and we always look at her like, what the fuck even is this? It's oh, so dumb. And then when I was looking through his great, work, he did it. He's got a great Fahrenheit 451 by Michael yeah. Whalen that looks he's badass. Got, I, I read like an article after I bought the shirt because I was like, I knew he was, I've heard his name before, but I didn't really know a lot about him. He does like, he seems incredibly like he reads the entire book like three times before he makes a cover. And oh. like, uh, artists or there, there's some quote from some like super famous author like there's nothing better in the world than getting like michael whalen to do your cover like this <laughs> shit is better than a blowjob <laughs> oh yeah his art for uh cole and the barbarians number two is very epic it's just yeah. a barbarian bringing a mace down yeah. onto a lizard man's head yeah, yeah these they're, are these are they've got like a cool awesome. like they're like they feel like lived in. I don't know. The worlds yeah. just feel like really. Oh, uh, this is the one. I'll send you a picture. It's just like this white dragon on that hill, which is kind of cool, but it's also like out of his works, probably one of my least fucking favorites. So huh. yeah, I really wish sick. it was. He did all the like Stormlight archives, like art and stuff that are in their books, and it's just really badass. God, I wish I could. Uh, well, now we have Mid Journey. Never mind. I was gonna say I wish I could paint and stuff. It's not the. It's dude, not the, the satisfaction. Same. Can you imagine just being able to actually fucking sit down for like days and days and make something like of this magnitude? Look, at this. this is a fucking the Way of Kings cover. You, I would, make this in Mid Journey, okay? Fucking, I could make that in Mid Journey. You're soulless. <laughs> You know, I could no make soul. the fuck out of that in Mid Journey. It's disgusting. <clears throat> I w you know what I would say, though, as one of my style preferences? <laughs> Michael Whalen. <laughs> yeah, I'd say in the style of Michael Whalen. Uh, yeah. Guy holding sword with storm and background in the style of Michael Whalen. I'm sure I could get something similar. Just blew a fucking fat cloud, dude. That's for you, Spotify listeners. <laughs> that shit's going to come out of your headphones. <laughs> Something stinks. <laughs> Uh, uh you didn't you want to what piss, oh do you want to talk about the facebook stuff uh actually or no what? we're gonna do a quick piss break yeah and then poob has brought some really brought, great visual yeah, media for is, the spotify yeah, listeners for the spotify <laughs> listeners we'll describe them in great detail i just like have been looking through facebook marketplace for a long time but the, I, I have more i can't find this is from like a week this is like a week's of just really awesome listings and I'd recommend if you live in kind of just a weird 
area, checking out Facebook Marketplace for just kind of oddities and crackheads selling like mirrors and stuff where they just look like they're dead in the picture. And we'll talk about it in a second. But yeah, yeah, go. let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna go pee. Let's go pee. Give me out! Give me out! <laughs> too much shit on me. <laughs> This bag also is making a little heat spot on my tummy. <laughs> oh, you got the <laughs> you got the tummy sweat. Yeah, like a fat bastard, dude. <laughs> I gotta put that. This is a good color. <coughs> Say what? That is a good color. I think next hiking trip we should get day bags of Topo designs. Those are so cool. They are right off tax right off. Yeah. Although I think Abby will kill me because I think every hiking trip I've been on, I bought a new bag. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, like, well, this one, I need something a little bit bigger. <laughs> and then and then I was like, that was too big. And I didn't like my previous small one. But it's so hard not to. No, I know what I did was my brother's. I got my brother's bag. But I have had yeah. a new bag every trip. But like. I want my own. I don't own one. I used my dad's dude, last trip. Fucking shop around and. Very quickly, I'll find something wrong with a bag. Like, yeah. on the hiking trip, I'll be like, if I could get a new bag, it wouldn't be fucking this one, you know? Yeah. And uh, I like the one. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. It was an Osprey or whatever, so. Is that the one you used when you were hiking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I never should, really, I really got a look at it because you had so many things jingling <laughs> yeah, and jangling. Yeah. It was I like, I couldn't see what lies beneath. It's just from behind. I look like a fucking... Like a, I've got wares or something. I yeah, have no. so many things. Yeah, you look dangling. like a Dark Souls merchant or something. Like yeah. a big bulbous thing on your back. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. I uh, I really want to do another. I've been watching this guy on TikTok a lot. I mean, if you guys watch TikTok, you know it's a classic. Like, oh, it's this time of night. It's whatever. And for some reason, he only pops up at like one a.m. But it's this guy that it's just he looks like a nerd. He's got these little glasses and he does like extreme below zero build a shelter out of snow and fucking make a fire. I don't know if you've seen the guy. He, I he did, love uh, that He did vein one recently, like Appalachian, no tent, nothing, just like make a little shelter. And yeah. then he, so he brings his like toddler too. And he had one recently where there's like wolves in the background. He's like, don't worry, they're, they're not as afraid of us as we are of them, Jacob. And his kid's like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, just Wait, like a, l a little kid. Like, he's did like, you say, don't worry, they're not as afraid of us as we are of them? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is Sorry. exactly yeah. how it is, actually. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be honest with you. We are much <laughs> more afraid of these wolves. They will tear you to pieces. They, yeah. Or if you're lucky, they'll just kill me and raise you. <laughs> and you have a new wolf dad and mom. <laughs> You're going to be yeah. okay, though. I set you up for this. I don't know. I've just been, oh, what I really want is to get. LASIK before the next I'm so scared of getting LASIK because I know there's like oh, it's probably not going to go wrong but on the slight chance I'm going to have to kill myself because going blind is like one of my it's my biggest fear you know like because it's yeah. not a lot going on up here and like once I'm blind I'm just like whatever like fuck you know I've but camping, heard there's so. a, there's also like another thing that can happen where it doesn't make you blind it just you can have like corneal pain yeah, which would also because then like goes really, on fire. I, There's been people that have legitimately they've gotten that syndrome and then they just killed themselves because they're like, yeah. this is this is that bad. That's really yeah. scary. But also, it's like I've had contacts along. They're really not a bother. But for me, if I were ever to go solo camping or something, just my glasses suck ass so hard they don't even. Okay, so you know how I pancake a shoe. Yeah. I also do this widening thing to glasses because my head's so big where over time they just slowly like don't fucking fit on my face anymore. Yeah. In, in an emergency, like if there's some like rumbling outside, even on that camping trip, like I have to like, <laughs> I can't see a fucking thing without, you know, I'm a pure like Velma and I just, I feel like it would make me so much more comfortable being out in the woods and stuff if I could just wake up and be like. Dude, I see. I, I went camping with Madeline and at like three in the morning, she was like, I have to pee. And I had to sit there and like f try to find my fucking glasses at like Dude. three in the morning. I'm like, where the hell are they? I know. Dude, yeah, my glasses a, also are like, it an does old suck to not be able to just like problem. get up and. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I My brother and mom both got LASIK and they're getting to the point where it's been long enough where they're like kind of squinting, but they still, you know, it's better than what I got going on. 
And when we were on that in Idaho, when we we're up in the snowy part, I remember I had to go piss at one point and I put on my glasses and I had that fucking beam flashlight. Yeah. And I was out there, I walked like 10 feet away. I'm like, I can't see a fucking thing. Like, I am, even with my glasses on, it's so dark. Like, I have really bad, like, nighttime vision. And I'm like, well, how rare of me. And you know what I mean? Like, with my glasses, it feels even worse. It's like, yeah. rated. And I was just like, I'm going to get killed by a fucking mountain lion or something out here. And I'm not going to, it's going to first swipe, knock my glasses off. And then I'm like, oh, you know. That was actually one of the scariest moments I've had. It's just like eerie. Being out there. Yeah. Like just an eerie calm to the world. Yeah. Was I, I pissed and then I turned around and looked back at the campsite and I turned off the flashlight for a second and I just saw how dark yeah. it was and how quiet it was and and just seeing like you could see the snow go off and in, in into the distance but just see the shapes of the trees you know i don't know it was just it was eerie it was like i yeah. feel like not that i'm being watched but i just kind of got how alone we were out yeah. there and it it's unsettling to know that if something happened you're pretty we're, yeah we're a distance yeah. from civilization yeah yeah i know I don't know this guy because I also like read a story. This kind of feeds into that yeah. earlier talk about live leak stuff, like just morbid yeah, yeah. curiosity. I read a story about it was a 19 year old kid. He was sitting there cooking breakfast or something like that, and he just turned his head quick and tore his artery in his neck and died. He was just he just went to go like talk to his mom, and his fucking neck artery just went <sighs> and teared. And I was like, that's like a, a, a brand spanking new person, like. The cardiovascular, that should be the peak of his you know, <sighs> elasticity, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Something got to him, you know? Yeah. Hey, God. I, you smoke, you smoke too much weed. It makes you appreciate, <laughs> you know, your day a little bit. I love my kids more on that day they, than there's, the day before really, when I didn't you know, know that happened. Know, there's so much to be thankful for. It's just yeah. like a person that doesn't have, like, I made it through breakfast really without tearing fucking, my neck yeah. off. <laughs> I think there's like yeah. there's people listening to this right now that are like, yeah, I'm in a fucking wheelchair or something. I'm like, yeah, I wish I could go fucking out in that mountain. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. you, wheelie. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I uh, I don't need a goddamn wheelchair. I just choose to sit in a chair with wheels on it most of the day. <laughs> yeah, most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could run. Okay. No, I I uh, got dude after Vegas and everything, I hadn't worked out in like two weeks. And that's what yesterday when we tried to do the podcast, I was like, hey man, I'm pretty fucking tired. I worked out for the first time in like a month. I rode that bike, I was like, <gasps> <gasps> like normally it's just so fucking easy. I'm like huffing and puffing, like taking breaks on my stationary bike. I'm like, you oh god. You guys should have fucking heard the attempt that we had at an episode because I'm not gonna lie Hell to you. Yeah. I also was getting back to working out. Yeah. And it's uh yeah I'd worked out yesterday as well and I, I was just fucking completely tapped my I was like delirious sink yeah my mind was completely wiped well that's when you were like I worked out today I'm a little bit tired I was like so did I I don't feel that bad yeah. and then like I was putting the kids to bed I was like damn like <laughs> it's bedtime for you guys I could fucking lay up in a bed too if I wanted and uh and then we came down here and my mind had completely shut off it was horrific yeah, I was. Yeah, you were you were trying so hard. You were <sighs> valiant effort, dude. You. It's what I get paid for, you know. Yeah. I just have to try. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as a bad idea on this podcast. Just try. I couldn't yeah. even think of like strings of words. I'm like, okay, so uh, fuck. You know, um, it's bad uh, when I'm just like, oh, like my mouth's <laughs> open, yeah, and you're I'm like, a, uh, water buffalo is uh, cooler than regular buffalo or something. Oh, I didn't wouldn't go that far, but yeah, bison <laughs> has a big head. Kind of bigger than you'd expect the head to be. <laughs> and uh, what else do they have? They've got feet, four feet. I feel like, yeah, uh, I felt like we were like, you've seen what we do in the shadows? Yes, yeah. We we're like energy vampires on each other <laughs> last night. Like, there's no, it was just like trying to fucking yeah. do anything. It was just miserable. And we, we kept going for a while. We're like, do we end it? No, we got this. And yeah. like, let's at least get an hour out of it. And then. This is fucking. There unusable. was like a real sobering, like, yeah, self-reflective moment where you're like, "What are we even fucking doing? Like, what yeah. is wrong with us? Yeah, <laughs> what is wrong we're with us? Why paid can't... for yeah. this? Like, okay. Fuck. Uh, uh, they, those moments do happen. You know, it was, it was because that one at least we were like laughing at like how bad we were. We're like, Jesus. 
like back in the day we had a couple of podcasts where we'd just be like fuck like there's <laughs> nothing to talk about like we fucking suck and there's no joy at the end yeah. of it we we're like all right i'm going to fucking bed <laughs> this time you know we played some games and stuff really revitalized i stayed up like wait i was falling asleep playing that game oh lethal I, company yeah and lethal company rocks the by the way it's really I, fun yeah but, Okay, so there's still some stuff in that game. By the time this comes out, I'm sure all the mystery will have been revealed. But if you've been playing Lethal Company, <laughs> for the folks at home... When is it's this going to come out? <laughs> no, a couple months? <laughs> like a week from now. Yeah. The wiki's still being flushed out on, on Lethal Company. If you go to it, there's no pictures oh. for any of the monsters or anything. And um, the point is, is that if you haven't played it yet, you're basically like a little employee that has to go into dangerous situations with like, uh, what would you call them, like SCP type monsters yeah. in there get scrap and don't I get call them killed creepy yeah they're creepies <laughs> and, and you get the, you get the scraps you bring it out and then you sell the scrap for money you have a quota and basically you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place because if you don't get the quota the company kills you yeah but in order to get the quota you need to go into a place that's almost certainly going to kill you yeah uh, it, well, it's the thing that killed us by far the most was just drowning slowly yeah You're like oh i fell into some water okay <laughs> I, don't, I don't think lisa lived longer than five minutes a single time i mean yeah, she's accident prone in game yeah. and in real life it's like you yeah. put some rocks around her ankles or something she she couldn't make a single jump she is just yeah. absolutely i just hear this like boop. <laughs> Every like five minutes. Okay. Yeah, the well, comics spectating. like kerplunk noise that they do yeah. when you fall in when water. We, when you're spectating yeah. alone, it's real lonely. Because yeah. Lisa had already left, and I had to watch you and Bizzle do an entire run. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys are like, well, should we go back? No, let's just get some scrap real quick. Quick run in and out. And Twenty yeah. minutes later. <laughs> well, you know, once it's in there, it gets hairy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not so easy to get in you and out. You know what's funny is there's um, Choppa, Bizzle's roommate. We're playing yeah. with him, and he keeps he kept talking about. It. He's like, "There's this little girl." He's like, "Oh, the little girl's back," and I'm like looking around. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? He's like, "It's like a little girl that's haunting me. She's just like she's right there. She's next to you," and I'm like, "I don't know. Is it maybe?" He's like, "I think it's like a curse thing where it only happens to one of us." And then I was like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, we start playing some more, and like a couple levels later, he, he's like, oh, the little girl's back. I'm like, I wonder if it's like on the save or something. Or like uh, maybe it follows you between matches. And then we played a completely different save the next night, and Choppa's again talking about this little <laughs> girl, and she's like in the ship with us, like not even in like the spooky yeah. area. And I'm, and I'm like looking at the wiki. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I think this might be just like you're psychotic. <laughs> you're having some sort of weird She's ass me moment. To kill the president or something. Yeah, yeah it's just a little girl. I looked up in the wiki, all the monsters have pages, and then there's just ghost girl and it and it's oh. a red link. You can't like there's nothing written about her. That's so creepy. Yeah. And I I feel like Choppa quickly added her to the wiki but wasn't yeah. able to flush that. <laughs> Uh, add to enemies, crazy. ghost girl. I'm not yeah. crazy. I'm not fucking crazy. She follows you into real life sometimes, <laughs> yeah. and she tells you to kill your roommate, but she's, she's, I'm not crazy. She's yeah. crazy. It's just the damn good game. It's I a thought damn you were going to say game. it was just Lisa or something, like, no. the whole time. You're like, who's this little girl following me around? <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that game rocks, though. There's definitely yeah, was, a lot to chunky. it that I've, I'm still discovering new things. It's very cool. Biz Bizzle showed us that little, I won't spoil it, little secret area, though. That I only went and checked that out know. a second time. That's what I was doing right before we yeah. started this podcast was we found a secret area with this little secret something that looks like it can be Bizzle powered. found a secret area. But, yeah, yeah. It was all Bizzle's work, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, I went back to try to power it with two reactor coils. Didn't work. That thing, there's some unspoken <laughs> something that has to be done to that. You have to have the ghost girl following yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, we need to get Chopper back in there. She holds you up to the part to put in the batteries or whatever. I love games at this moment where it's like right when they come out and the mystery's still there. Yeah. And 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 like I looked at the wiki, but I don't want to read too much into the wiki. I yeah, like just yeah, kind of learning. Yeah, I even looked at that because yeah. you're like, this monster I know from the wiki will only attack when uh, I only engaged. looked that up because I was like, ghost Cheater. girl? Like yeah. he kept talking about it and. I was just so curious. Is this an actual yeah. thing or is he going crazy? 
and uh, unknown on whether or not it's yeah, yeah, so yeah, up in didn't the air. really get it answered. But no, the, it's not just the wiki. Like uh, when you see a monster, you can look it up on the terminal. You can type it oh, into the bestiary. I, I barely even looked at the terminal. That's because you were tired of shit and high shit last night. Or <laughs> completely I was out more of interested in decorating the spaceship with oh, proper yeah. lighting. You can get lamps. Yeah. Uh, you can basically Record turn player. that ship into Poob's room right now. Yeah. Yeah, basically goblets. get the same vibe. Yeah. Lethal Company. You should check it out, guys. Why can't I we get re- cool sponsors like that? Like a game like that. I know. I, uh, I, I haven't taken a sponsor in like fucking like eight months because uh, everyone I get is just like, yeah. It's always the fucking... games that like you know aren't going to win by word of mouth. It's they. It's always yeah, some top down just don't even look fun. Yeah. And the one I missed out on where I'm like, this could be sweet was Marvel Snap. And it was like one they sent out on. I was just playing the game already because, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm an idiot. And then they sent me they sent out like they sent out to every fucking partner like join now. And I missed the they, they, too many people accepted it because the game's so good. Yeah. And uh, that was like the last time I've been excited. <laughs> About a sponsorship, not in general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the last time I smiled. Marvel Snap. Uh, yeah, it's so cool. I really want to play Perfect Heist too. I uh, wanna... Yeah, that game rocks. That I just, game, it would be such a good stream game too. I know. Well, yeah. none of my all my streamer friends are always. Everyone's either doing hardcore World of Warcraft mm-hmm. or like you don't stream unless you have like a planned out thing with other people, and then. <laughs> Omid and Devin. Did I get that eye roll just, again? I'll go the other way. <laughs> and then Z Chum and I, I got the first reach out in a long time. It was the other day, like, want to play Rust? And him and Omid and I, it's just like, there's some dynamic there where we just all, we were, it's like one person's always not happy. <laughs> Two mm. people are ganging up on one, and it switches around. But when it's you, it's not very fun. And yeah. then when it's Omid or Zichar, it's really funny. But uh, Omid's just a little trickster, that one. He's uh, quite... He, he can suck the... It was like the first time in forever to see him and I had just played something, just us two. And we were giggling and laughing. Omid comes in, it's like, fucking crickets. And uh, he... <laughs> I didn't even know you could make a bass look as fucked up as he made the bass look. Like, he... You can just put wires every. It was like walking into a big cob, big black cobweb when he went in the base. And well, I, I didn't, was, I didn't even realize they added all like electronics and wire systems it's and stuff. Confusing for a man like me. Yeah. I, yeah. And for my dad's job, I was a little. <laughs> he never taught me the proper rust electronics and stuff. So yeah, that that game. You know, I think Bizzle said it best when he said, "Like, if I was 15 again, that would be the best game in the world." If you just have I mean, like yeah. un- unlimited time where it's it doesn't I, matter what you're doing, you just drop what you're doing and go defend your base. The fact that you can pull up your CCTV, you can have it on your fucking phone, yeah, yeah, yeah you can you're, have it, you can have I'm a getting smart rated. base, yeah, yeah. that's uh, I, dude, that would yeah, blow the, me away as a kid. Just the unlimited amount of time I had summer going into college to just sit there and sweat in a fucking room and play that game, yeah, some of the best gaming of my life. But I've never also been more like riled you know i was just so on edge constantly and so angry it's honestly one of the best games ever made i just it's also i'm not like a type of person that would play it with the way it's played yeah i owe so much i mean i've talked about this before too everything that's kind of happened is through just rust like meeting everyone like we met through rust you know yeah i met through rust Rust. guacamole jones is yeah rust village yeah, Aqua and Guax. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was a yeah. joint village, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was a joint venture. It was like Aqua's 2000, Guax 5K or something. Yeah. Wait, subs? Yeah. God, how been. long ago was that? <laughs> 2016 or Holy something shit. like 2017. Yeah, we've known each other for subs? a while. Yeah. Damn. We didn't really hang out or anything after that. For I don't even know. Honestly, don't even know how, how I'm on this podcast. I don't even. Yeah, no, I don't I, remember why I got invited as a guest. I don't either. But whatever. Uh, yeah. Small blessings, I guess. <laughs> Huge blessings. Uh. No, I think we played games a bunch for a while. Yeah, we, do you I can't that? remember what ones. I can't remember why. <laughs> and I can't remember why. And I can't remember what instance. Yeah. But there's definitely something. Yeah, there was some overlap there. There was some connection. <clears throat> Bumbo? Probably. I but think I feel Bumbo like Bumbo was also a big 
I mean, I played with him all the time, but I feel like not you. Yeah. Uh, I think I... Well, I was just very present in your Discord for a long time, too. It's a lesson, guys. If you're a really big loser in that Discord and you hate your life, you will get to be a co-host on this podcast eventually. <laughs> it's if, you're, yeah. if you just hang out in there enough and create a rat roll, yep. you can eventually uh, just kind of sneak your way in. Yeah. <laughs> awesome awesome lesson i think that is the that is the pathway isn't it yeah yeah i think, you're just I, think I was just an, i was so annoying back then dude i if i had to hang out with me in college now i'd i'd wring his neck i mean i would just if i had to hang out with you even like a week ago too i just oh my god i would just be so fucking annoyed <laughs> hey. i was just <laughs> i mean i i actually might be more dumb now but i was just way way fucking more annoying you know what i feel like if you look back on have you ever see, heard people there like I, I look back i don't fucking regret anything i regret yeah. so much of my i life. look back i regret things from last week that just means yeah. at least you're evolving the people that are like i don't regret nothing it's like you haven't changed in that many yeah. years like if someone's like i don't regret what i did in my 20s it's like jesus christ I, you know, yeah, I at least you're afforded every, mistakes, but yeah. you should at least sometimes look back at night and go, ah, ah <laughs> I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I, I, I go to yeah. bed and I regret things I did that very day, <laughs> you know, yeah. and that's, that's yeah. how it should be. You should constantly be doing things you regret, things yeah. that you probably know aren't it ethically it right in the moment. Torment you. Yeah. yeah. Go For ahead. Years and go years. ahead and do that. Whatever it is. Make it, yeah, take a risk. Do something you're going to regret in the future. That way you learn. <laughs> yep. Do something insane. This is a call to arms. Yeah. So Ford Fables call to arms. Do something crazy and you will regret it. And yep. You'll, you'll There's learn. real, no political motive here. We're just yeah, saying no, nothing, something yeah. just like, we're not like an anarchist group, but go yeah. wild wherever you yeah. are, whatever you're doing. Uh, doesn't mean cause damage. Might yeah, be a little hygiene, anything. But if you are this isn't like a fight club thing, okay. If you're just, listening uh, to this podcast in like an excavator, you know, destroy whatever you're building. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, just run buttons. it over. Yeah. If you're yeah. a pilot, go. <laughs> I'm gonna do a flip. Like do a little barrel movie roll. where he goes upside down. Mm -hmm. See if you can do it. See if you can fly upside down for at least a minute. Yeah, that guy got away with it, and he had been yeah. drinking that day. If you're stone cold sober and you're a commercial pilot listening to this, you could you probably do, do the exact same thing he did if you haven't been drinking and get away with it because he was drinking and got away with it. So you can also be like Tom Hanks in that movie and land in a river upside down. Mix it be. with the Denzel. By the way, do you know that movie? I think it's called The Terminal, where Tom Hanks. Yeah, he's like, I'm I, a, uh, what the? I'm the Frenchman or whatever. He's like, he's like, he's stuck like from in. a country that's dissolved or something. Yeah, that's, I think that's his like why he can't go back is because his country doesn't exist anymore or something huh. he's from like borat like <laughs> he's from, from like borat. where borat's from or something i was I thinking would what would be a funny version of that movie is you know how he gets stuck in like an international hub airport yeah like it's like the f fucking stuck in the new albany airport yeah. <laughs> yeah i was thinking like what if he gets stuck in just some shithole <laughs> Lubbock, Texas regional airport. Yeah. He's got oh, one vending fuck. machine to yeah. live out of. At least like he was, I think he was in the Paris international airport. I think is where he was. I thought it was in America. I mean, I've, I've literally just watched this movie through TikTok like parts. So I <laughs> yeah. don't really remember, but he, yeah, it might be like LAX or something like that. But yeah. cause I thought the whole thing was like, you can't leave because you don't have a, passport or something but also you you're can't a terrorist enter. or something yeah. yeah he's like i'm a goat farmer what the hell yeah. and then that, the whole airport bands together to help him do they really touching i thought they I, sat there and just watched him on the security cameras oh there's like you'd get quarters out of the one cart return. guy that's yeah. like fuck you you're not going anywhere and then the like janitors and shit are like this guy rocks he li he lived there for like an extended period of time i'm too. i'm telling you if you're is that a real story? Yeah, it's a real story. It's oh, a real guy. Cool. The the people that like clean the bathrooms and stuff at airports are they you can tell their life sucks. You can tell they don't like it. If there was a guy that lived there and shaved at those <laughs> bathrooms and uh, I'm they gonna would, light this one up. Don't go in there for a while. <laughs> you can I don't think they would treat him too nicely, dude. He would be public enemy yeah. number one with those janitors. 
I think you're like, like a fucking disgusting mess. Yeah, but you know he seems to have some common courtesy. I don't know. Where's he's he shower? Sh- <laughs> Horse baths in the sink. Yeah, oh, probably. Oh God. He just scrapes the crud and throws it on the mirror. I couldn't imagine being in the the Dallas airport, being that guy. I, I that was that is the dude, worst airport a, I've ever been to. When I get like delayed, I'm going fucking crazy. If I'm there for weeks, months, oh my god! I mean, yeah, he kept a much more positive. He, he did. just started like working in the airport. I remember in like part fifty of this TikTok series, he <laughs> he's like, oh, I can help. Like fucking, I'm here, and he just started like doing construction and shit. <laughs> Fuck, That's, I'm bored. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's kind of cool. I remember that the, about, the oh, Dallas sorry, airport, there was like pockets of it are like 100 degrees. And then some of it is like their air conditioners are just broke in like different yeah. areas. And so you would just come to an area where like even the planes were about to start boarding in like 20 minutes and it would just be a ghost town. Nobody would be there because everybody's like, it's like 100 degrees right there. I'm going to wait. Yeah. Buy the air conditioner and just kind of like see when they're going to oh, start boarding. God. But uh, I ended up finding the only cold place to stand was where those big people movers are. The big like conveyor belts that you, it's oh, just like yeah, an I escalator that's yeah. flat. Yeah. And so I was just standing in the middle of a fucking air conditioned hallway with those for hours. I had to lay over there. That was like three hours or something like that. If I was a billionaire, I'd have one of those going right from this to an escalator up the stairs to another speed pad outside. <laughs> and oh have you God, seen the ones that are around. like rubber? Like uh, they have pad to them. There's like two different yeah. types of people. I've been movers. on the metal fucking. Just, yeah, the metal ones. ones in those suck. Those suck. I love those. Dude, I feel like I'm flying. These that were at least at the shittiest airport I've ever been to. Their little people movers are awesome. They they have like a if you've ever been on like a track like a running track you know how it has like some bounce to it these are like rubber conveyor belts that have bounce to them so, so you're sprinting down you it, can you're sprint off down that bunker yeah. dude and it it doesn't hurt your knees at all you can do a front flip while running <laughs> and land keep going it, it feels like there's enough like uh, give to it though that I could like kind of shove my shoe at the edge and get like uh, sucked into the conveyor yeah, belt see, I don't, system I don't love that yeah but uh, yeah let's uh, look at these Facebook marketplace things. Okay, yeah. I also want to say, if you live in Indianapolis, I talk a lot of shit about Indy, but we've got a nice-ass airport, and I'm very happy with that. It's really, really classy airport. Put the Chick-fil-A past security is my only gripe, because every time I get there, I've I I've never seen a place have food before security. That's weird. They have all their best food before security what? in this, like, food hall, and I'm like... I don't know if I've got time because I'm nervous. Yeah. You know, how long is security going to take? Then you go through, all you got is a fucking like Starbucks. And I'm like, oh, jeez, God, oh, boy. Really want that Chick fil A breakfast because I, I never am awake that early. Huh. Sorry. But uh, uh, if anyone that works at the International Indy Airport is listening, please see if you can get that sorted out for me. Thank you. <laughs> see if we can get some change enacted. Okay. Here's. <laughs> Here's the ring to cage wrestling dummy. Okay, hundred dollars, not bad. Meetup, you know. This isn't gonna dox me probably. These are all just like around indie. How much? I mean, does this thing just look like a like it's spreading its asshole? And you, like you're supposed to fuck it. I mean, I don't it, like how the ring to cage looks like a BDSM. wrestling dummy. Yeah, why is its arms like? He looks like he's been tying its arms back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, it looks like that. It's on its ass and it's <laughs> spreading. It's it, it's laying yeah. face down. That thing's been positioned. Yeah. Yeah. And I would love to meet up with the guy and just like <laughs> just see hey. the dude. Yeah. He's like, you do MMA? Nah. <laughs> no. Nah, man. I'm gonna give you 110 dollars <laughs> to not ask another question. <laughs> okay. It would be uh, great to be like a. Oh, oh, that'd be like a good like sketch like. Oh hell yeah! Like this guy's selling a wrestling dummy. Like you are a very big wrestler. <laughs> you got like your your Hulk Hogan look going on, and you go to meet up with this guy, and he is like a very obviously not a wrestler selling yeah. it to you. And it's he fat it, it, <laughs> it has handcuffs on it. <laughs> like yeah. when he pulls it out, it's got a ball gag. Yeah. It comes with it. It's for it's, oh, that's not for sale too. He takes it off. <laughs> it's for just safety the dummy. training. <laughs> well, I'm saving the rest of these right now. This one's probably my favorite, though, just because when I saw the thumbnail, I mean, I just had to assume that it was some sort of sex toy, and it's some sort of ring-to-cage wrestling dummy. Don't even, like, 
I guess you just like brand. practice moves on it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Practice eating this thing's ass, or like I don't even really. It, yeah, like I can't I think of a possible. Would, what, yeah, like what would you get it in a chokehold? I think you would. I think if you put this thing in a headlock, you would start to get turned on at a point. I mean, I don't. It's almost impossible with the way it's set up. Yeah. It the way like it's set up. I mean, what about if you just put a regular person in a headlock? What do you think that would do to you? Does he look like this? I mean, I <laughs> yeah. Know. Is he fully encased in, yeah. in PVC? I, you see, the uh, thing I don't even get is, like, is it posable? You keep saying he's posed it like that. Like, I'm just assuming that's just how it comes. It's like it's just got hands. I mean, obviously, you can move its, its arms. Yeah. But it's it's just, just, it is front? odd. It is odd posing. They wouldn't give it a penis. So, like, you don't even really know if this is the front or the back. But well, it has it the just looks. It's got butt crack, which is crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's the craziest part is that it has a butt crack. I'm actually I mean, I'm gonna look this thing up on ring. Yeah, how much do they retail for? Forty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Heavily used ring to cage. Wrestling. Let's see, three hundred and twenty nine bucks. Whoa. Okay, wait. I see the actual configuration of what it's supposed to be. And this guy, let me tell you, has worn his out. <laughs> yeah, I just this looked it up. They is, are definitely posable. Yeah. And this guy has put it in a very weird pose. <laughs> this guy has worn this fucker out. The ones that are online are, are very, uh, they have a lot of surface tension. This one has been ragdolled enough. <laughs> that it's, Do you think it would be better than limp. jerking off fucking this thing? I mean, I don't even. If I'm just that like telling been, my roommate, I'm going like to go practice. It's a dominated doll, dude. I'm going to go do wrestling practice in my bedroom. Ah, ah. It's just so funny, the contrast between the the one and the website. Yeah, it's just so it's, rigid. It's yeah, so, it, and, and this one's just... I've seen them in all sorts of poses where it's like clearly it's about to be put into a lock or something. And this one is just... Like, is that, it's like almost like... It looks like all the stuff has been removed. It's fucking arresting move. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Anyway, awesome. Are you gonna buy it? Purchase. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> okay, it's been so that. heavily used. That's like buying like a warmed up. Uh, it's like a, a when you buy like a baseball glove that's been pre broken in. Yeah. You know, which is better. Yeah, I think so. This is a mini PlayStation <laughs> One. Uh, Forty, 40 bucks? bucks. Pretty good. Damn, it dude. appears though to just be a chair with shit stains on it. <laughs> And a gun, like some sort of BB gun or something. Honestly, forty bucks for either of those things, I would probably. If I, I want to see what the other side of the cushion would look like. The second picture, you're probably wondering. Well, maybe the second picture is a mini PlayStation One. Nope, just a like close up of the chair. I just don't get what you're buying here, because there's no description either. Like, what am I purchasing for forty dollars? Am I buying a mini PlayStation One? Am I buying a poop chair, or am I buying this gun? Like, what? Is this fucker selling? You know what's funny is the pricing indicates that they priced it at for a while. <laughs> they priced it at seventy, and then they came back and were like, "No buyers." Didn't yeah. even see the pictures being fucked up, and then went like forty. We're gonna reduce price on this. No final offer, forty dollars. <laughs> you get one of three things, and I, none of them are good. I mean, none of the. I mean, maybe if that's is that a BB gun? I mean, that might be good for forty bucks. I don't. A gun for forty bucks, regardless. A BB gun, airsoft gun, I would buy it. But you might be pretty disappointed if you get the poop chair. Yeah, because <laughs> it's maybe like, it's not even like a. I don't even know what fabric that is. It's like the most poop wicking fabric, and they've somehow left the poop stain on it. It's a Sportsman nine hundred. That's like a legit gun, I think. Oh my god! Yeah, that makes this post even yeah. more frightening. Let's see. This guy's just got his no, gun against poop chair. It's an air gun. I'm sorry. How much are they worth? $59. So I guess not. How much is a mini? I didn't, I didn't even know a mini PlayStation 1 was a thing, and I'm still not even sure. Yeah, that's just like a really badass air rifle. Oh, my God. I wish I had stuff like that as a kid. Mine were like the... Uh, God, what are those? Uh, what's that company called? They red just, Rider. Yeah, it wasn't a Red Rider because those are the little spring ones. But it was, yeah. it was a Daisy. If you remember uh, that company, yeah, Daisy. Yeah. 
yeah, air rifle and you do it like you pump it like four or five times. We'd pump that shit 11 times. Yeah. Because, we, <sighs> yeah, the last one. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> my my uh, grandpa gave me a Red Rider. I just realized I have no fucking idea where this thing is. And it was like pristine, like came with a certificate. Like this is a real Red Rider BB gun. He gave it to me when I was like 18 and he made me read the entire safety manual in front of him before he let me use it. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm I, way too old for yeah, this to be cool. I don't even want you this anymore. Give me, you yeah. should have given me this when I was like 11. Yeah. yeah. Like I've got BB guns, man. Like, uh, yeah. I don't really want this thing. It was cool. It had a little leather tassel on it, though. Ooh. Pretty cool. But also the reading of the manual was pretty embarrassing because I'm like, technically a man <laughs> i mean i'm not really but you know yeah you can be drafted away. for war yeah you I, can yeah, make I me could read be a manual. shooting a real gun and i'm here like okay don't fucking point this at your kids don't fucking don't suck on it like it was lengthy too it's just like uh, okay here's common sense that honestly by the to... way that gives you a pretty good estimation of what he thought of you <laughs> <laughs> that's he a, was it's a horrible husband. wake up call to what he thinks of you he's not even my real grandpa he's the husband to my little southern grandma and she also she's always thought we're like 10 forever because yeah. she still gives me like a toy train for christmas and i'm like okay like thank you grandma i love this and she gives my little sister these creepy ass porcelain dolls that just stare at you she has a collection and my mom hated them growing up and now my sister every time she gets one like puts them in the attic because they're so fucking creepy and i don't think she'll ever grasp i mean i look drastically different now i mean i've got a goddamn mustache and she's still like you want like hot hot wheels or something yeah, yeah. Well, it's probably because you have giant action figures in your <laughs> yeah yeah Fair, fair. Look, Grandma, I just got this yeah. Doc Ock. Yeah, okay. Doc well, she, doesn't, she doesn't know about my toys. Okay. I would just take the cash value of a, of a train. But once again, just want to bring up how gross this chair is and how easy it would be to clean, judging by the material. Like, just one wipe. <laughs> yes. One wipe with a paper towel, that chair's clean. Yeah, one I mean, Lysol wipe. That thing would be good like to go. That's like the only benefit of owning a chair like that is that I feel like stains would not be set. And... Uh, Oh, it God. almost has like corn texture in the poop <laughs> stain. Like it was real. Chairs like that on a hot summer day fucking suck so bad. Yeah, I'd just stand Sticky. up and like. Yeah, uh, sitting sticking. in that shirtless. Uh, I mean, this guy clearly sat in it pantsless, but <laughs> it's just gross. It's just a gross chair. Cool gun. Never saw a picture of the mini PlayStation. Oh, let's see here. We let's got. See, I want the vintage Boglin. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do the Sorry. Boglin. Okay, the Boglin is actually something I'm considering. Yeah, the Boglin <laughs> is gotten, awesome. Oh, wait, I'll cut, cut out his name. Still, cut out the fact that I was listening to a Logic song. It's a vintage. Uh, okay, vintage Boglin, pretty cool. I don't know what a Boglin is. Is that also, from, like, a movie or something? I would have to assume it's from, like, a bad horror movie or something. I am going to now look it up, but I am Bog looking it up on Bing. Bo King Dwork. Boglins were a series of toy puppets distributed by Mattel. They were created by Tim Clark, 1987. I knew. Okay, yeah. C yeah. Coinciding with the creatures craze, including ghoulies, critters, and gremlins. I was going to say, it's kind of ghoulie-esque. Yeah. Um, Mini that's Boglins. Actually, that's actually a cool puppet, then, for 50 bucks. I mean. Oh, hell yeah. Well, there's some really good ones. Damn. Wait, let me look at this one. His color he seems worked, to have been. Wait, the guy that made these worked with Jim Henson on the Dark Crystal. Uh -huh. Which I've got a Dark Crystal book and the Dark Crystal, so maybe I do need a Boglin. Uh, his Boglin Eyes. is desaturated a lot. See, the problem is the other picture of it, it's posed just like that dummy. Really? <laughs> and it's spreading its asshole. <laughs> and it's got a big hole in the <laughs> asshole part. That's where you <laughs> puppeted it from. <laughs> it's got good... Uh, dude, this is a it. rare find. It's on Etsy for $180. Grab it. Buy it. Boglin 50 bucks sold. first purchase yeah of this. get okay. get that thing good okay and then you yeah, turn around and sell testing. it Once what you, should i buy i know you you're gonna buy it and you're gonna go oh my, i'm boggling oh dude. and then you're gonna be like all right i'm never gonna touch that again I, that's when you put it on facebook marketplace yeah flip it I've, use that guy's exact it, same you, picture to advertise it, it yeah 170 bucks yeah 180 <laughs> uh 
I'd put it in the rocket ship with its face just pointing out. I've been thinking about getting it. I think puppeteering would be a good medium to get into. Yeah. I've been talking about that a lot lately. And I didn't even see Jeff Dunham in Vegas or anything, but. Yeah. Is it because you read that original first draft of Bachwin. being John Malkovich? Yeah. It's, it's seeing yeah, the I, real power of puppeteering. To be the string holder. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this one, I'm also actually the next one I'm really considering buying. Uh, Stall, once again, be careful. It's probably going to show. Okay. Then 70 foot lookout watchtower with spiral staircase and cage on top. Yeah. And the reviews were also saying in the description, it's saying it's basically kind of up in the air if it's safe or not. And also, you have to pay for transportation. That complicates things a little bit a little slightly yeah. but imagine just a suburbia kind of not great neighborhood with a 70 foot watchtower that i could sit in and make sure we're safe and we don't have an hoa so i mean could they even stop me are you gonna be up there like uh with my air rifle <laughs> yeah i was gonna with say my poop stained chair yeah and a dummy <laughs> watching you got mirrored aviators on a searchlight one of those big Fucking hunting yeah. light pistols. Have you seen those things that people like poke them out of their car? <laughs> Scanning the horizon. <laughs> I'd have a speedometer up there and a walkie talkie to the local police. <laughs> we got a speedster. We got a speedster. Um, This thing's actually awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. It's such a like, this is why I wish I was like truly wealthy. Because the just bring things. Bring me that watchtower. Yeah. Bring me that crow. <laughs> I would just want, like, if I just have property, I'm putting this fucking wa I'm paying whatever, $10,000 to get it moved from West Baden, Indiana to Indianapolis. I'm going to fucking, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe a, maybe you put an awesome bird cage on the top and you get some sort of bird up there. You, you become a falconeer and it comes in there at night and roosts. The problem is it's completely caged. So, like, as a falconer's post, like... You can't even a little, you can't even like uncage them and be like go. You have to go Dude, down the stairs your a little bit. Tower and you have enough money in this scenario to buy this thing. You can cut a little fucking. Well, I'm gonna make, make alterations <laughs> to my giant watch watch tower. With, you might want to put a new set of paint on it or something. I don't know. Yeah. You know what that looks like? You know how like people go down to go swim with sharks and they get in the big cage. Yeah, that's like a cage this for is like a if pterodactyl like pterodactyls yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is like Jurassic Park three. Like yeah, you get in there, quickly go the up the staircase and then come view the pterodactyls. Yeah, it's I mean, could you think of a better place in case of emergency though to <laughs> go up to? I mean, a home intruder. I just <laughs> I'm out the doggy door and I'm up that and what with a five spear minutes? at the top. <laughs> Yeah, it looks yeah. like a monument from Rust or yeah, something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Good luck. I've played enough top. Rust. I've been to Dome enough to know how to <laughs> fucking protect a spiral stair. I'm going to be up there with just a bowling ball, like 10 of them. <laughs> Roll them down there. Uh, so explode my dog at the bottom or something, but 70 feet tall. I mean, this thing's fucking huge. That's huge, yeah. This is just something that you can't normally have and those are the things i want most like I, but why the cage who like why was the who cage owns it? who the, owns something like this no i, don't I, know. I, I mean why the buying cage? it but why the case of hail <laughs> in case you're up there during a hail storm i don't know it's still gonna hit you it's not the cage. i think the cage is just for peace of mind or something i am i'm not sure just in case I don't know. It, it, it just, just it seems weird. Like if I think Watchtower, I think I want to get up there and be free of any constraints. It's like you're climbing up to just a 70 foot cage, which Dude, is weird. I'd, I'd be one of the tallest things in Indianapolis in that. I'd That's be, true. I'd be vying with like our two skyscrapers up there. I'm like seven floors. I mean, this is just an incredible deal, really. And if you watch this and buy it, you have to let me come <laughs> check it out. Part of the deal with any of these things. Yeah. I'll move on to I'll move on to the other relevant thing that could be kind of like a home and would go really well with a watchtower on top. This is a 30,000 gallon steel storage tank and can't even really fathom how big that is. I'm not quite because the picture, like you said earlier, doesn't even contain it. Like That's it's how not big even, it is. Yeah. They couldn't even take a photo of the whole thing. That big. And it's also $10,000. And also, I mean, I know these are not for like people to buy. This is probably for some company or something. But what could you do with all that 
thirty thousand gallons of what? I mean, I'd maybe start filling it with water, rusty water, in case of emergency. You could lit. I mean, you could make a teenage mutant ninja turtle set up in there. Yeah. Now, honestly, Imagine, I think you could bury that and, and make have it, a little watchtower down to it. You wait, 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 wait! Look at that. On the top, there's a hatch. You could just put like a ladder down into it, bury it. Yeah, you have a um, like a bomb shelter down there. Yeah, you've I mean, got it. Thirty thousand. Ga- I do, I honestly have no idea. Like, that seems like an incredible. Is amount that a lot? Like yeah. Like, what is that? I don't know. I I mean, a five gallon bucket. It's like this big. So then, thirty thousand multiply that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, <laughs> thirty thousand okay, so gallons. Six thousand times bigger than a bucket this size. Okay, so. Uh. <laughs> I just come. I did. I asked the most ridiculous thing. I don't know if this is how I'm, big is thirty thousand gallons. <laughs> I said thirty thousand gallon to square feet <laughs> conversion. But you find this is this is uh, this has to be like people that don't go to college question. <laughs> like I feel like yeah. that's the dumbest thing I've ever put into Google. But I there mean, is a calculator for it. it. How big? How big is that? <laughs> gallons per square foot. God, it's at, it's asking me for like a follow up question. Okay, I don't know. How I to... just got a picture for scale. Mm-hmm. Not as big as you'd think, but this one's also shaped differently, so we're gonna take that into account. But these people, this one's more. This is more like you put this in like Tony Hawk underground skater, so and you skate inside of it and do loops. Okay. But th- these people are claiming to be by like a twenty nine thousand square foot. Oh yeah, 30. but that's like a living room. That's pretty. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Okay, but it's also shaped more. Yeah, this one's just gonna be really long. Okay, so it's like, it's like your, your current own tunnel. Room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like my current room, but, but in, longer, uh, but bigger. Yeah, I should put it in here. <laughs> Knock out that wall. My roommate is going to be so pissed when I spend $10,000 on this 30000 And also, you have to deal with transportation for this, too, of course. Oh, they they don't like, deliver it? These people, I don't even know. These people suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, just... Uh, I don't know why I thought this was so cool, but just another thing. And not as cool as the Watchtower, of course, but... Point. I think it's kind of one of those things where if you buy one, you have to get the other. You have yeah, one for because, looking out for threats, and then once the threats come in and you've ascertained yeah. that it is a threat, you go down to the storage tank and I'd have live in that. The watchtower right on top of the storage tank. Oh, on so you my, just run down the spiral staircase yeah, into it? Into the hatch. Yeah. <laughs> or you can jump from up top and put a couple feet of water in it. <laughs> you can hold it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is honestly, this is like where someone, a kidnapper puts a child. <laughs> This is, I just watch Prisoners and this is, this is not good. Um, What's the next really, one? I'm kind of running out, but uh, <laughs> this is a 2006 Chevrolet Equinox. Uh, 700 bucks. <laughs> no other pictures. And the message just says, for Chuck. <laughs> so I don't know if he's just directly selling this to a for, guy named Chuck. For the audio <laughs> listeners, by the way, we're just looking at... <laughs> Um, a guy a somber man i can't really read him very well <laughs> the picture that to go along with this listing of a chevrolet equinox is just a guy that looks like he just got done crying yeah. he's he's just recovered <laughs> from this guy uh might be killing himself and selling all his <laughs> items to some guy named chuck yeah. on facebook market this guy just got a real bad diagnosis and he's like i have to pay for the medical <laughs> treatment come pick up my chevrolet equinox and 700 once bucks. again not a single this is the only picture no picture of the car <laughs> no whatsoever and also is that not like incredibly cheap for a 2006 car uh look what the car look what this guy's going through dude <laughs> take one look I at this guy fucking, i should send him a message be like are you, are you all right, right man dude? i'm gonna hook you, you up good? with don tony yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to talk about this. I think he's the gray. He He's saying, you know, I'm feeling kind of gray lately. Yeah. I'm going through a lot. I'm going to... This is a cry for help. I mean, if I've ever seen it. To some man named Chuck, and I hope Chuck has reached out. A description for Chuck. Chuck, please. Yeah. For Chuck. This is... I mean... 
I don't even. There's not a lot to say about this one besides how sad he looks, and now there's just not a single picture I of the think, car. I think uh, the picture says enough words on its own. A thousand words. Yeah. Dare I say? <laughs> um. Ah, oh, dude. He's got a tinge of sweetness to him. Though. He does, though. I, you know what he's I'm got... thinking? I'm thinking he used to be with Chuck. Yeah. They've now he lost Chuck somehow. And he's trying to get Chuck back, and he knows Chuck is in the market for a 2006 <laughs> Chevrolet Equinox. He always talked about his dream car, 2006 Chevrolet Equinox in gray. And All so right. he's this opening. Is like his, this is like his misconnections on <laughs> yep. that one fucking website. I you spent know. one night with with this beautiful man named Chuck, and all he was talking about. <laughs> That's how one day he's gonna get a 2006 Chevrolet Equinox in gray. Uh, once again, I'm sorry. This I is like the side Google. What the hell this even looks like? This or is like the for. most ghetto version of like the Great Gatsby ever. <laughs> he's like <laughs> trying to win Chuck's affection. <laughs> go, go, Chuck, come to this. <laughs> it's it's the lights. Look at this fucking. 2000s. What's the Kelly Blue Books of the fucking... Of a 2006 Chevrolet Equinox. You want me to look it up? It's... Jesus Christ, wait. <laughs> it okay, can't that's be gotta be original. Bucks. A fair price today? Yeah. 3200 3200 Oh, this he wants he wants Chuck bad. It originally cost $22,000. He though, so. He's definitely luring Chuck. Yeah, this will get his attention. <laughs> this is yeah, less like Gatsby, more like a harpy or whatever. This is this is a siren song. Uh, you can get your the car of your dreams for a third the price, and it's uh, look how cute I look, look how sweet I look, yeah, and look how regretful I am for what I did to you, Chuck. Yeah. Look, I've learned. You know what? I'm on his side. I hope he gets him back. Yeah, I yeah, because I do see I'm Chuck. I do see kindness in those eyes for sure. He's, he regrets what he did. He's learned. He yeah. took those. He he's awake every night, going, "What have I? What have I done? Was I that really that guy? Wasn't I raised better than this?" Do you think in reality he's gonna wake I... up tomorrow and be like, "Oh fuck, I put the wrong picture there." Oh, I had too much crack. <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna lose my car for seven hundred bucks. <laughs> Who the hell's Chuck? Yeah, yeah even mean, if the picture's right, the price is absurd. Someone had to have died in that car or something. I mean, yeah. Or it's totaled it could be or something. Ugly, it could be in really bad. I, I mean, just so you know, he's taking care of himself. I, I kind of kind of look just like this guy. But, you know, I just uh, <laughs> this guy's real low. Uh, I think that's all. I didn't, oh, I didn't do the cat one, but I don't even know if it... Require it's just a picture of a cat giving a thumbs up for some reason. It's got a human thumb and it's cat tree. Uh, yeah, that one's more of like an AI it. generation. Yeah, that one's just more like someone trying to be cute. These ones yeah. are more like fucking help. <laughs> questioning sanity. Help me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I if I find more, I'll bring them up in the future. I know I have I have like twenty of these saved throughout my camera roll. Yeah, these are just the latest croppings. <laughs> I have a friend that sends me. So I wish I, I I thought he sent it to me on Discord. Wait, let me check. Maybe it's actually just on my phone. Maybe he texted it to me. But it's a guy. It's very similar to this one, actually. It's incredibly similar. It's just like man, man on the edge. I uh. Oh yeah, I found it. I've been using Facebook Marketplace in order to get uh microwaves for this video I'm doing, and this guy I met yesterday, who I told you he, he went to go like carry the microwave to the back of my car for me and oh, saw yeah. that I already had microwaves in the back of my car. And That's he's like, creepy. he's like, what the hell? He's like, I got more microwaves. You know, if you, if you want me to sell you microwaves, I got more. And I was like, okay. And he, he like was like prying into my life. He's like, what, what do you do for a living? I'm like, oh, I make YouTube videos and stuff. microwaves. And he's like, I'm like, I also do like a podcast. I usually normal people. I feel like a podcast translates better to them. And so I told him what the thing was. I think he went home and like looked it up and saw oh. the Patreon because now like he sold me a microwave yesterday for, for 45 bucks. And today he's like, yeah, I'm the uh, best I can do on this one's 200. Oh my I was God. Like, Are you fucking kidding? He's like, it's a big microwave. I'm like, I don't fucking care how big of a microwave it is. I'm not paying 200. Bucks. It's like a new microwave. I'm, I'm supposed yeah, to be that's... getting these cheap. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, he definitely was like, I've been fleeced. Yeah. This guy can give me some more fucking... 
Uh, okay, hold on. This one I actually just found in my. This isn't the one the guy sent me, but also very. I'll post. It, I'll I'll show it to the pure visual listener. Now, this is another just famous bit that everyone listening is like, awesome man. Uh, so this is some fucking guy or something. By, by the way, those are our most vital listeners. Those are the ones that say the nicest stuff about us. Is just the audio listeners. So we should really cater to the. We need more. to we need to do more audio bits and uh, slide whistles. Uh, <laughs> they love that shit. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a cool robot character we're working on. Uh, I can't move my mixer around too much or it disconnects. I don't expect any more effort going in like that in the yeah. future. This thing's real not, finicky. If you're an audio listener, that's a really big fan of Brian. He's here, and if you're not, he's not. So. <laughs> It's kind of choose your own adventure. <laughs> this one I quite like. This is from a while ago. Donald's Billboard Bluetooth headphones for sale. And his name is obviously Donald. I've cropped it out. Uh, and it's just two. The second picture is this exact picture. I'm pretty sure. And it's just a guy I feel also like reaching out for like. I mean, he doesn't even have a Bluetooth headphone in the picture. No, not even doesn't. a little. For the audio listeners, it's a man that appears to be in something about a ceiling is giving the like "let's get the day started" vibes. <laughs> it's got two of those ceiling titty lamp like headlights at different angles, and almost what looks like a Sears. There's something unfathomable. Oh, it's a counter behind him with business cards on it or something, and then in the background, I thought it was like. It's very hard to kind of tell. What's oh, going yeah. On. That's like a confusing perspective type yeah, thing. It's yeah. Because vi- almost like the cards are facing yeah. towards the camera. I, I, <laughs> I thought it was like a Sears. Like, he like he's in a Sears windows. or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought he was maybe in a Lowe's, like in the lighting section. Those are like ads for the lights. They're not. Anyway, guy needs a friend. And <laughs> Donald, if you're listening to this, we got a guy that's selling. Uh, what was that last guy saw? So Equinox. <laughs> yeah. And I think you guys could really maybe you, get maybe grinding together. If Donald, if you feel like you could be a Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> then Change your name to Chuck, you got yourself a lover. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, though. I, I kind of see here's the problem is that the previous guy had, uh, you know, there was some sorrow there in his eyes, but there was also kindness. And I think, did my mic just disconnect? No, 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 no. no. Um, but... I also feel like this uh, this Donald guy. There's something going on. That's not a. Those aren't rational eyes. I'm looking at, dude. Yeah, he's. Quite I don't scary. I don't want to unleash him on the other guy. I would almost buy his billboard Bluetooth headphones for sale just to get him off my back. You know, <laughs> yeah. just to be like, we're cool, right? <laughs> he's. Clearly, he looks aggressive in a way. Not good at making posts or yeah. decorating a house, and then now he's gone to Facebook Marketplace to sell some sort of uh, is billboard a brand. I don't even are they the size of a billboard? I mean, I'm just <laughs> I just can't believe how many people in Indiana make these insanely vague posts and are like, I checked the one my friend sent me of just like clearly a meth head like. <laughs> looking at a mirror dude that's it's this guy deleted. this guy yeah, looks like I, he just yeah, fucking ripped on a on crack pipe and he's, cr- he's some crystal or some crank or something yeah he's bugged yeah. out <laughs> and i guess it's just people maybe selling nonsense they're on the crack or crank right now and they're like i gotta make more money for my yeah. next fix is my best guess that's how it is man but also it's like Put in a little more effort with your picture selection, man. Maybe I be like, a little more. I like my drug addicts with still that salesman flair. What happened yeah. to the showmanship? Yeah. What happened to a briefcase filled with drugs in different little areas and stuff? And Yeah. It's like if you have an addiction and you're trying to sell stuff to make money, but at least do it like uh, like Saul Goodman style, where it's like you at least put yeah. on. When he's selling those like uh, pre-charged like phones, the, the burner phones, he puts on a track suit and he acts like he's a criminal, yeah. you know, when he's selling his shitty commercials. He puts on his director Make leather jacket. Make me think jacket. you want it. Yeah. Make me put a think little you effort in there. 
Yeah, sell me this pen first, and then sell me your crack, Donald. Mm -hmm. Okay, because right now I'm not buying what you're selling because yeah. you look like you're gonna. You're fucking just a bad me. fucking salesman. It's my point. Uh, I'm yeah, getting, this guy sucks. I go, anyone's door pickup. I'm getting. I'm gonna get a big net thrown on me when I open that door, <laughs> and I'm gonna get hit in the head with a hammer. And I'm I told not really you before we started this when I was on my hunt for microwaves. There was one where like the price was real low, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Oh, sweet, cheapest goddamn microwave." Like it's funnier if it breaks in the yeah. video. And then the lady was like, "Yeah, come to this address and pick it up." And it's just in the middle of French Town, which I'm is downstairs, <laughs> <laughs> a little deeper. Yeah, <laughs> French Town is a rough neighborhood in yeah. Tallahassee. And uh, I saw the address and I messaged her. I was like. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I ain't going down there, dude. I'm not getting that suspiciously I've, cheap microwave. Twenty five dollars for a microwave? I'm not going down there. Yeah, yeah. I I've been watching far too many. I've been on like a streak of like unintentionally like someone's kidnapped movies. Mm -hmm. I watch Prisoners. I just watched Kid Detective. Anyway, no one's seen that probably, but a good movie. Surprisingly, a good movie about a ex kid detective. He was like kid hero now dealing with being like a man that's no longer a kid detective and an unsolved case from his childhood real good stuff much more alert though lately about wait isn't being that the snatched. same story as conan the detective i've never seen conan the detective you know that Is anime it? no what that's like one of that's like loop in the third level like it's one you of know, those conan the destroyer i've never heard of conan the detective are you seeing it? It's like a little boy that's... Uh, yeah, but I looked it up on Bing. Yeah, Kid Detective's a lot cooler than this kid. It's also yeah. like a shockingly... If you read it, if anyone... No one fucking hears me talk about a movie on here and is like, you know what? I'm going to watch that. But if you're that guy, if you're that one guy out there, or girl, um, it says it's like a dark comedy, or it's like... It puts a lot of emphasis on comedy. It's really not... <clears throat> uh, it's much more somber. It ends and you're kind of just like... Oh, By the way... Fuck. Any, anything that we, I vet a lot of his recommendations. I'm gonna say we, we have we have good solid picks. He, yeah. La La I'm not Land. Feed you he, shit. Yeah. Okay. He, he ingests a lot of media, but if he turns around and recommends it to you, it's usually pretty good. La La Land, I thought was gonna be a miss, but once you get through that first fucking 15, 20 minutes. Oh, I know. Once you get, it's really the reward. Showing up. It's the reward you get for yeah. stomaching the first like twenty minutes or so. Uh, that movie really it does come together. Yeah, I, I do appreciate like the first 20 minutes. Very musical heavy, but yeah, it definitely I've, starts a little strong and you're yeah. like, OK, so this is going to wait hairspray and then yeah. you watch the rest. I was like, damn, like, dude, this is it was Ryan just back to back, back to back to back to back. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> songs Something like sexual shit. about the way. He... Um, but Kid Detective. Yeah. Watch it, guys. We just watched it for movie night. It was just it's just been on my list for a long time. It's got Adrian Brody. No, it doesn't. <laughs> What's his name? It's not Adrian Brody. It's like Brody something. I take back everything I said. Don't watch this fucking movie. It doesn't have Adrian Brody in it. Yeah. Uh, I love Bing when you look up a movie and it just doesn't show you like the cast like a normal Adam Brody. Adam Bro Brody. Not to be confused. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Donald's house after this. I'm gonna get kid I'm gonna get man kidnapped. I'm gonna. I don't like that guy's. He's just been floating there in the corner. Yeah, I know. He's just kind of like eyes up? was way too also, wide. Also, is this like doxing? Oh shit! Hold on. Ah. I just saw a creature out yeah. there. Yeah, new dogs. We're good. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. In laws are over, and they were randomly were just like, "We're coming in the back." <laughs> I was like, oh shit! Don't they know that you fucking work down there? <sighs> apparently not. Apparently not. But. Anyways, um, I'm going to yeah, get out of here. End her up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. This was episode. This uh, is episode. We're still going to do, guys. Don't worry. We're still going to do that special episode 100 celebration at some point. Okay. It's going to be really special. But this is probably episode 120 at this point. Uh, yeah. So still, like still no. I mean, I'm still getting fucked, guys. No turtleneck. No watch. No chain. Nothing I was promised. And patron episode coming out soon. Patron like interviews you know what the fuck i'm talking about oh yeah i forgot about that yeah the 16th 9 p.m eastern yeah. time be Join there the be square uh it's probably and also no harm if you just go in that big lounge call and uh deafen because it's probably gonna be a lot of really insane people it's gonna be yeah. you guys all in small groups you guys are very tolerable but i imagine if you get a you know 
a hundred, two hundred of you in one call, it's gonna be pretty unbearable. So, you know, even like groups of twenty on Discord, rough. Yeah. If I had like three me's, like when we were playing that game and you were saying you were hearing me from the past and at the current, I'm like, <clears> that's too much. That's way too much. Yeah, that's audio overload. So that was uh, right. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> no, I I don't know. Like, uh, have you ever had that, especially in conversations? Sometimes where people just aren't on the same, like they take too long to respond or it's like you get the feeling that they're not fully grasping what the hell you're saying. And I'm just yeah. like, are we like on completely fucking different wavelengths? <laughs> like what is going on there in your goddamn mind? I've never, it's very rare that you talk to someone like that where it's like, are, are you even taking in what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, in that instance, it was kind of one of those where I was like talking to you, but it was the game for some reason just offset your VoIP by like a minute, a full ass yeah. minute. And I was sitting there talking to you and then you were responding to something I said 90 seconds ago or something. And I got so fucking confused because I had already started smoking like yeah. 30 yeah, minutes before. I was like, what the hell? I heard you like, what's happening? And I, <laughs> I, I like, didn't know what was happening at that point. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this guy? He's way too that? high or something. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, yeah. in laws are right. over. I'm gonna go hang out with my kids. Okay. Probably ride balance yeah. bikes. Yeah. Great Razor episode, scooters. right, listeners? Great yeah. episode, guys. Spotify okay. listeners, <laughs> go ahead. Keep it up. Keep it up. Just keep be it you. Up. Patrons, Patrons, we'll see you next Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Stay classy.